Roll out. Get your ass up. Roll out. Out your mama house. Roll out. Get up, nigga. Roll out. You smell. Roll out. Your teeth. Clean. <laughs> Clean it. Get your ass up on the west. First day, <laughs> It is a balmy 52 degrees. It rained yesterday for a few seconds. I got my winter jacket on. <laughs> Where they party hey, at? El Cajon. San Diego. <laughs> City of La Mesa. Yeah. Everybody. City of Compton. We keep it rocking. I want to take this time. It's early in the morning to welcome everybody to the Wild Wild West. Yes. One, two, three. Kick it. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Why you be twisting your hips? <laughs> Why are you looking at my hips, boy? You're right in front of you. are blowing all my papers <laughs> off the <your> table. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, a little hurricane. Fox O Radio. It's the rollout show. Early in the morning right here on the West Coast. Do love this morning. Yes, well, indeed. It's been every morning the last two days. Oh, wow. Uh, it's Fox O Radio. Sirius 96, if you didn't notice that, on your XM radio dial. Oh, Speedy. It's Speedy and friends and I'll be Speedy. Speedy. Up Speedy. in this. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. Pow, 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 pow. With bang, bang, bang. Pow. Dudes don't pew. I can pew if I want to. Mm, shot in the face if you do. It's my body wow. and I can pew if I want to. <laughs> pew if I want to. Pew if I want to. Yeah. See? There's some feminine energy to the show. Who? <laughs> <laughs> some feminist to the show. Feminine Feminine. A C and M and E. We want to welcome you guys. Check this out, man. Uh, it's the four hours of the most funniest part of you your get life. In trouble right with now. your own lines. <laughs> <laughs> Do you rehearse fun- when you go home? It's the funniest four hours Shit. of your life. What you do with the other twenty is your business. Put a teleprompter in the and fucking you're supposed to be, <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be there at the top of the in hour. In New yeah. Delhi. <laughs> <laughs> you are now Who there. said that? Uh, a newbie. <laughs> New Delhi. <laughs> in the building, speaking of newbies, all the way from Philly. La from New Delhi's home of some cool of the worst movies movie. ever made. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I didn't get to his intros for you interrupt. I'm sorry. Damn sure it did, man. Some of the worst movies ever made. Please put your hands together for a cool guy, Pete. What up? Cool guy. What up? What up? What's going on, man? That's all you got? He's hurt. No, I, I said my shit, but holla, he holla. cut me off. So Same He's hurt because uh, I ain't going to say it again. Oh, bro, that was cream. <laughs> Don't my shit. I'm sorry. I'm going to take my <laughs> ball and go home. <laughs> That's what I do. You never see the light of day fucking with me. Speedy, why you break the button? <laughs> so now you can't turn it back on. <laughs> Now, nah, how you doing? You good, man? I'm chilling, man. We figured you, you can get down again after yesterday's Appreciate that, man. blunder. Yeah, Damn yourself. Hey, the man, blunder that, that made the show funny as fuck after that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do what I can. I mean, we read different in Philly. I mean, you, know. <laughs> <laughs> you might think I'm lying, but... Uh... <laughs> you notice you ain't got no stories in front of you. Hell no, I'm not cool. <laughs> I'm cool. Nothing but a countertop. <laughs> can you read the weather, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> countertop yeah, but, but, Countertop in front of you, baby On the barometer <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Rock, uh, Leave it alone What did Brock do? <laughs> uh, all the way from Washington, D.C. Yeah. In the building, Mr. Mark Howard said, oh, Wait a minute said, uh, 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 What up? What up, world? Let me know if you're good DJ know. Cool I, said, oh, I was at the Rainbow March and I saw Mark there. <laughs> and he said, Mark, are you going to do the show today? Yep, so I get off the dick float. <laughs> Mark, baby, don't give a fuck. Mark, baby, don't give a fuck. You didn't know he was... You shot that you did. You didn't know he was going there. <laughs> Nigga, did you segue in the dick float? Yeah, yeah. Mark, baby, don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> That ain't true. <laughs> as soon as that dick starts squirting, he was right up under going, It's raining me. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's raining uh, me. It's getting all in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I know where to stand when it go off. <laughs> this shit tastes like pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 
<laughs> you in my spot. <laughs> He's on the dick. Oh, club. my goodness. <laughs> Hovered up by the balls. What are you, pubic hair? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're all curly, huh? <laughs> It is weird Wednesday, huh? No. Yeah. No, that's your regular get down, baby. <laughs> that was Halloween for you, nigga. Anyway, in the building. First, before you do that, Speed, I got to give a shout out to Arlene and Carla, my girls at Union B. You know, it was raining yesterday, so I had to go to the bank, but I had to put on my my um, Born a King, my black, you know, yeah. so I'm coming there right before close, you know, kind of like, oh, he's going to rob the place. Yeah. So I want to give a shout out to T. The, the, the two of the young ladies who at the bank who took care of me, and I told them about the show. They're going to listen today, so I had to give them a shout out. That's special. So you were your uh, to be born a king because it was hoodie. raining yesterday, and I had it in the and back, were, so I had to put it on. They were startled at first till you asked. They were for, startled. Yeah, till you asked for that twenty dollars, even though you had nineteen <laughs> in your account. <laughs> <laughs> like, Can you little... draw money out your EBT card. <laughs> <laughs> I want the cash a check, boy. There you go. <laughs> sure. Sure. Yeah. 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 With the Knicks. Anyways. Yo, Thank TDP. you, always. Chris, you hot. As for mention, TDP, Mr. One, Two, Three, Not Baby. Standing the top the comedy cast away for the next top of the tackle. It is Z T H E E. Dave from Delaware. Anywhere, what you stare. Uh, Rastafari Selassie. It's Shibai, it's Yada. You gotta get out more, Speedy. I'm gonna make sure I get this out. I hate TDP. <laughs> you hate Christian Leighton or you hate TDP? <laughs> no, T first and Christian. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Speedy. Does T think he fly as fuck, man? Fly as he a come fly. in here, he shit on everybody. Right. And then he smiles at you and go, y'all ready for the show? Exactly. Fuck out of here. If you smell something stinking, it's me because I'm the shit. I don't care if you had a personal genie wearing a thong khaki bikini from Not Real to Israel. You can never see me, boy. And I put that on Temple 9,999. Self-employed. Bitch. <laughs> Thank you, DJ Allen. You could be reading them lines in the fucking bathroom, the off the wall. <laughs> it's always a hater. It's a real up show. <laughs> it's your boy, Speed. What's up, Speed? What's up? What up? Hey, don't forget, man. Hit us up on all our social media, which is cool. Speedy and Friends on Everything. Yes. It's Speedy, the letter N on Everything. And if you want to check out what's going on, Cool Guy P will be live I'll on be in the, the chat room. Chat room. On the website, speedyandfriends.net. Yeah, so. You Why is he in the chat room? Because he can't read. <laughs> <laughs> but he can type, though. Type his ass <laughs> <laughs> Where's the Q button? Where's the Q button? Motherfucker, fingernails is a beast. Motherfucker, put XO down like a motherfucker. <laughs> I was at uh, Dodgers opening game, opening day. Where were you guys at? I was right. watching it. We missed the memo. Man, Vince Cully. <clears throat> Vince got to be at least 100. Hey, it's time. It's time for Dodger baseball. Man, he, he just know shit you think about. He know and then say it. And you like... Wow, like, dude hit the home run to win the game. Nigga. That was. Mm-hmm. And Don Newcomb where takes it. We are. It? Come on, I'm beat your bombs, Speed. I'm in the bleachers where the hotties is mighty. You had on all blue? Mm-hmm. It had my glove. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he was nine years <laughs> old. Did the ball come near you? So funny, Speedy. So I'm in the cool look. Shout out to Jorge, uh, Baby Ghost, and uh, Lil Puppet. <laughs> Lil Puppet. <laughs> so Lil Puppet Girl Maria, right? So they, you know, they playing catch in the outfield. So we like, man, throw the ball up, man, man, throw the goddamn ball. So he threw the ball to Maria. Speedy, she dropped the damn ball. Damn. We booed her for nine innings. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> but we had a great time, man. Oh, like opening day, it was sold out. It was, it was beautiful. It yeah. was. It Matt was Kemp. Day. Matt Kemp. Uh, Matt Kemp is with the Padres I know. now. He was not like, joking. He said, we "Remember booed him for nine innings." <laughs> they did. Uh, we did. That motherfucker. You didn't do shit when you was with us. <laughs> <laughs> and you got, hurt mother. He had two, three hits. Didn't I don't he? think he's ever played a whole season. But then in baseball, it's hard to play a hundred sixty-two. So then we, we was getting on him about Rihanna. 
<laughs> oh, you were by him? He was near you? What part of yeah. it? Yeah. Would y'all yeah. do the same trick by that, my money? <laughs> we sang Iron Barrella. We sung all her songs to that dude. He was, <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to ignore He was just shaking his head like, man, he dude's killing me up there. <laughs> <laughs> I know you, have my money. you, Teeter, you was leading the shit. I, I said, Matt Kibbis kind of wanted, do you need an Iron Barrella, Barrella, Barrella? I think I wish I'd have been there. Oh, man, we had a ball. <laughs> My we dad used to take us to Dodger games and sit in the center field. He, you bring your glove, Daddy. The ball ain't gonna come to us. We about to flag. It ain't gonna come way over here. Shit. Oh, let me tell you the new get down. What ain't no good? Oh, cause you know the, you know Chavez Ravine. You know you got the old cholas out there. Oh, what a lay. So they passing out oranges, Speedy. Right. Mm-hmm. So he like, you want mm-hmm. an orange? So it's like around about the fourth inning. I'm like, I want an orange. He said, you want an orange? I said, yeah, go give me an orange. This man had injected the orange with vodka. Ooh. <laughs> we are nice by the seventh inning stretch. <laughs> Take me out to the... Where the fuck we at? <laughs> I need another goddamn orange. <laughs> oh, Sir, would you like a drink? No, I want an orange. We want an orange. Damn. So that was the get down, boy. You inject the oranges with the... I hope I ain't. You know, yeah, you didn't throw him under the bus. Now. I ain't throw, I ain't throw him under the bus, but that was the get down, boy. Some little proper so, orange. So you peel it? You like a little juicy than normal. No, he told me for the get down. He okay. said, I was, I was like, you want an orange? And I think I was like, yeah, I do want an orange. He was like, he said, this is an orange orange. I was like, oh. <laughs> 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 oh, just heavy so sir, you been drinking? No. Throw the motherfucking ball. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah we, we had a ball. <laughs> but yeah, that's the get down right there. All right. So make sure you go to our website, uh, speedyandfriends.net. Cool guy. Get your t shirt. Cool guy. We're going to be at it this week. Nationals and Phillies play uh, in a couple yeah. days. Okay. I was talking about the Nobody website. talking about that shit. Yeah. Right. Anyway, uh, you can see all the shit we're doing. We're going to be in. Uh, Black Bike Week. Black, yeah. Who? Black Bike Week. Say it, say it, Speedy. We're going to be at the week where the bikes at. <laughs> and they're black. <laughs> A whole lot of black people. <laughs> wow. Big comedy show we're doing that Friday and Saturday, so definitely come on out. Teeter, you getting down, right? We'll talk I got, about I it got a air. slide for you, bro. <laughs> we'll talk about it off air. Will, wow. she, let you, will she let you go? Because <laughs> I know some girls that's going. Right. That's, um, I guess that group is Dykes with Bikes. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they all, you know, taking the, the trek out mm-hmm. there. And I was telling them, they was like, oh, my God, well, we got to hook up when we get down there. And, all. and I was like, uh, I don't know. Uh, you're kind of buff. <laughs> 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 kind of taller than me. <laughs> kind of buff, honey. Dyke on bikes. <laughs> man, baby. Man, you're a handsome young lady. That's not a girl. That's, That's a, a man, man baby. <laughs> 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 so, and also, too, we get Palm Springs, which will be totally off the chain. Pip. Party um, and pops. We're doing the big comedy show the Thursday. Thursday the meet and greet Thursday. So definitely come on out to that. DJ always be on the wheels of steel. <laughs> wow. Uh, he's Indeed. also going to be doing the battle of the floors. So you want us to be on our floor. So if you go on the website and get your room, make sure you're on the Because we're going to be clowning. We ain't going to be oh. in our room for shit. we pulling the beds out in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sleeping on the motherfucker. Can you get a hotel bed under you? A hotel mattress. Very carefully. Them motherfuckers is heavy as shit. Yeah, they got semen and mm-hmm. skin in it. Ooh. <laughs> that don't wow. Me, that don't make me want to go <laughs> to the <laughs> past uh, guest. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's Fox over. <clears throat> Sleeping in show. ski. Early in the morning. So how, how's your nieces, man? They good? I think it's good. All right, cool. All right, let's, let's do this, man. Uh, there's a very, very uh, disturbing story that's going... Not story, story mm-hmm. but... Uh, the shooting that happened down in uh, South Carolina. Another shooting? Yeah. What happened? Uh, and they got it all on video. And, and I didn't want to watch the video. I know you saw it, Mark. Yeah. Um, you boycotted the video. No, it's not that. It's just that somebody but died in that video. So it's kind of hard to watch. But uh, in uh, South Carolina, a white police officer was arrested yeah. and charged with murder on Tuesday. No. After the video shows him fatally shooting a fleeing unarmed black man in the back. Uh, The young man uh, that was shot was 50 years old. And originally the police officer said that uh, he feared for his life and that that the young man um, had a taser or took his taser from him. Mm Mm-hmm. 
and uh, they got an altercation supposedly allegedly and he he ran and as he was running he feared for his life and he shot him yeah because i heard the guy had a d in the eighth grade or something that's some stupid well you know they they have all this stuff character. showing that uh you know, he had court cases having to do... And the reason why he ran, supposedly, was that uh, he was originally pulled over for having a busted taillight. And, wow. And, uh, but they said he, you know, he got scared because he had a court case. And uh, I guess the police officer mentioned that to him and he gets out and run. Which, you know, shouldn't be a reason for anybody to pull their gun out because I ran from you. In worst case scenario, I'm running from you. And you can either let me go or take your taser and evade stop me. Evading arrest. And uh, this young man was shot and killed. And then the video came out, I think, what, uh, a couple days later, right? Came out Sunday. Sunday. And that revealed exactly what happened. So now he's been arrested and charged with murder. So we want to give our listeners a chance to call in. If you want to call in to talk about this story. The number to call into is 855-960-3699. We're going to open up the phones. Normally, we would do our weird Wednesday stories and things like that, which we will do a little later on. But we really wanted to get to this story because it's... Uh, it's weird. Yeah, but it's, it's troubling. It's, it's that thing that every time we think, okay, maybe it's not going to happen anymore. Well, I never think like that. Mm-mm. I do. Unfortunately, I just do. Even after... Um, you know, all the stuff that's been out. The thing that every time we think, okay, maybe it's not going to happen anymore. Well, I don't ever think like that. Mm-mm. I do. Unfortunately, I just do. Even after, um, you know, all the stuff that's been out just within the last year. And you go, okay, well, I mean, at the end of the day, we're going to need police officers. It's, it's not like we can say they, they all ain't shit. I just think somewhere somebody need there needs to be some type of training, just like they do for NFL players when they come into the league and they have somebody there to tell to help them with the ins and outs of the league. I think they need the same thing for police officers. I think maybe they have it and we just don't know about it. But apparently, I mean, just for this guy to think that he could have got away with you know shooting somebody in the back because they ran, and then uh, he tries to change the story that oh no. Yeah, you guys don't know what happened because up until maybe Tuesday, no one did know what happened. Not exactly what happened. I mean, you oh, until the video came. Until the video out. came. Yeah, out. The video yeah. And that's when you find out this guy completely lied about everything. And and supposedly they were like, oh no, we tried to do CPR on him, but he was cuffed face down. Right. He was already dead. He was already dead. Yeah. Shot so, seven times. But yeah, but you lied on the report and said no, we tried CPR and we did this that, and the other, and the other officers covered this up. Yeah, of course. So, code and conduct, sweetie. Yeah, if you, I mean, we definitely want to hear from uh, from you guys. Eight five five nine six zero three six nine nine. We'll go around the room, and and like cool guy P, you're twenty six years old. Mm-hmm. You're right in that. Not, and he's fifty, but you know, zero to one hundred. I just don't get it. Age, right? I don't what like you don't it. get about it. <clears throat> that you know, you know, I'm born and raised here in LA, so we knew. Like, like the, yeah, hilarious. <laughs> um, I couldn't remember. Could we not do the gunshots? <laughs> 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 Talking about getting shot. This nigga I didn't even hear the gunshot. <laughs> He's sensitive right now. He is on it. No, it's just you know, like like I wear. I, had, I got a Trayvon Martin uh, bracelet or band mm-hmm. that when we went to Miami. To remind me that, you know, those kind of things happen where somebody just gets shot over no fucking reason. And you, you matter of fact, I, I want the people who are all up upset at Fox for his little this joke about uh Bruce Jenner. Jenner. Bruce Jenner, why they not coming to the front on this, on something like this to say how wrong this is. Those well, same wait, 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 sweetie, mate. Like you said, they 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 come in at Fox about the joke he did on Bruce Jenner, but this dude killed somebody in a vehicle. Yeah, uh, sure. So sure. I hear about more about the Fox joke than yeah. I do this dude with the vehicle manslaughter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So where where's the uprise about that? Yeah. Come it, on, man. It's a black life. Somebody was killed. A black man. Whether he was black or, or white, it doesn't matter to me. Especially when an officer does what this young man do it's just I but well, the emphasis is not on that more so than it is about committing uh 
him making fun of a white guy who's doing a transgender uh, transgender surgery. Yeah. No, what I think is, like, if you look at the broad scope of it, I mean, you just got to look at the value of a black life in America. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's, if you look at it, it's, we're, we're not worth much compared to somebody that's white. And that's, if you look at it socially or economically, you know, through class, it's like a black person's life is, is, is not considered to be held in high regard compared to somebody that's a, a second class color. citizen right and, and, we're, and, still and, in the and con- we're still in the constitution it's three-fifths of a man but the other part of this is all the shit going on you had ferguson you had another young man that was killed after that and if you're a police officer the, I, i'm thinking the last thing you want to do is pull your gun out on some bullshit you're chasing which means either you don't give a fuck it must be an unknown thing we don't know about with police officers that don't give a fuck about that. Shoot these motherfuckers and we worry about the shit later. Because you, it would seem to me that if I'm running a, the police, a police department that I'm stepping into there going, look, y'all, unless someone truly, truly is threatening your life to the point where they have a gun or if they, if they have a knife, shoot him in. I don't get that. If he got a knife, shoot him in the knee. He going down. Trust me. He not coming towards you. Well, he was running away. No, no, I'm just saying, I'm just throwing that out. I know yeah. he was running away. Yeah, I understand. I'm saying, how come the people that's above these guys are not putting that out there like, yo, we got to stop. We're not going to shoot no more innocent black people. We're not going to do that no more. Well, you got to view them as innocent first. Um, he was running away. He was definitely gotta, innocent. You got to view them as innocent no. first. Yeah, well, yeah, well, you, you got to understand, Speedy, just you being on this planet is a threat. Mm-hmm. By itself, and just like Mark said, three fifths of the Constitution. But really, that's really generally saying it. One of you equals twenty five of them. So it takes twenty five of them to match one of us. That's what it all boils down to. So your energy and how you get out, how you move, and everything is with nature. They can't perceive that shit because we can do some amazing things. Uh, the officer's name that's is true. Michael T. Slater. I mean, I mean, let's take it to a different point here, Slogger. Where I people are up in arms because they say this is still going on like it's something new. No, it's just now starting to get videotaped and be seen. Because just imagine the if there's no videotape, yeah. then uh, it just be a imagine the ones that have that haven't gotten videotaped, yeah. and well, they're trying to pass laws in certain cities where if you do videotape a police officer doing his work, that you could be charged for a crime for that. Just because of these reasons that these. It's just like, it's almost want me to think, and, and I know Teeter thinking like, hey, why is it taking you that long? That the rule of thumb is if a black man does anything other than show you what he's supposed to do, shoot him. Right. And we'll, we'll fix it later. Right. Because mm-hmm. right. we can fix that later. But if you right. let him live and you have to dispute what he says to what you said, we, we, it's hard for us to fix that. Well, here's, here's my thing. And like I said, not every cop is bad. I know people who are police officers, friends, people I've grown up with. I know they're good people, black, white. Just get to the point. But the thing is, is that. Fuck about that. The thing is, is that. Well, I don't want to attack everybody in general, but there's enough. It doesn't have to be, but so many to make it bad. But the fact is, is that people talk about police officers go through a, a supposedly a serious psychological exam before they can be hired. They must hired. it up. Well, I, don't, I think that they know who they let in. Oh, yeah. And they know who they can condition. Yeah to think a certain way and police a certain way yeah. in certain areas. So you can't tell me that all police departments have this part of their their uh, standard hiring procedure before you go to the academy. You don't so, live there. You work there. You're doing your job mm-hmm. there. You live in uh, Lily Land, and then you come here where the energy is different. You don't understand nothing around here. You don't know what's going on. Why is he cross the street? Why is he talking to him? What do they work? What do they, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You don't understand none of the get now. So all you know is I got a goddamn gun. I'm going to ride around my window. I'm going to ear hustle what's going on. I'm going to use my scanner. I'm listening on these niggas' phone, see what they talking about, and then I'm going to jack him up. And then who you know, and then I'm going to go through your phone. Cause like I was telling you a couple of weeks ago, sweetie, the whole get down, they jump out the car. You, everybody put your phone on the hood. Why am I putting my phone on the hood? Because you want me to videotape nothing? Mm-hmm. Pretty much, that's what it is. But I'm not putting my Take phone on Take the GoPro the... off your head. <laughs> yeah, basically. You uh, know, all that shit. We'll be right back. Call in, voice your opinion, 855-960-3699. We'll leave the phones open. Foxhole Radio, Sirius. White Kiss 96. Black. 
Why is that? It's the rollout show. Nope. Right here. And we're talking uh, about the shooting down in South Carolina. Number to call in to the voice of your opinion or just talk about. If you live in South Carolina, please call in 855-960-3699. Uh, let's read the thing. I need time. some more details on yeah. this story. Right. Go ahead, Mark. Well, um, to pick up from after the initial part of the, the shooting uh, headline of it, North Charleston police officer Michael T. Slager, 33, <coughs> can be seen shooting 50-year-old Walter Scott after a confrontation on Saturday. According to the Post and Courier, Slager chases Scott and shoots at him eight times in the video recorded by, by, by a passerby and obtained by the New York Times. Scott died there, though it wasn't clear if he died immediately. The graphic raises questions about Slager's original assertion that he used his gun because he felt endangered. And I have the video posted on my uh, page up, uh, Mark Howard. Can we no put joke, that on the uh, website? Thank you. Uh, Mark Howard, no joke, on Facebook. And it shows him standing near him and he runs away. And he shoots him in the back. And he's 50 and the police officer is 33. Right, right, and he doesn't make no effort to chase after him. No, he, st- he did not chase after him at all. He stood right there and did his target practice on him. The confrontation started when Slager had reportedly pulled over Scott because of a broken tail light. It escalated into a foot chase, and didn't see a chase, as Scott allegedly fled because there were family court issues warrants for his arrest. Slager pursued Scott into a grassy lot and claimed that he fired his taser to subdue him. Okay, maybe we what the video picks up is where he probably chased him to because obviously they weren't in the street and they weren't near cars. So mm-hmm. he must have ran to where he did at that point. And then when he ran again, I guess he said, I'm not chasing him more, no more. Moments later, Slager reported on his radio, shots fired and the subject is down. He took he took my taser, is, it, is what he yells out, uh, uh, Slager does. Earlier this week, an attorney for Slager said the cop felt threatened after Scott tried to overpower him and take his taser. Uh, Again, you don't see that in the video. Today, that attorney told the Post and Courier that he is no longer involved in the case. Hmm. I wonder why. But first images in the video are of Slager shooting at Scott as he runs away from him. It also appears that Slager drops the taser near Scott after he was gunned down according to the New York Times. And you can see where he goes over the top of him, where he cut back to it and see him putting something down beside him. Police reports also say that responding officers performed CPR and delivered medical aid to Scott, but the video shows Scott face down in handcuffs for several minutes after the shooting. Another officer shows up and appears to give Scott aid, but never performed CPR. The Post and, Cor- Post and Courier reports. Police Chief Eddie Drigger said Tuesday that Slager has been arrested. The U.S. Department of Justice said in a statement that FBI investigators would work with the State Law Enforcement Division, which typically investigates officer-involved shootings in South Carolina, and the the state's attorney general to investigate any civil rights violation in Scott's death. Mayor Keith Summey added during a news conference that as a result of the video and Slager's bad decision, the officer would be charged with... With murder, uh, is it, I wonder if that's first degree. It has to be first degree. It can't be because second is uh, second degree is involuntary or like you know. no involuntary manslaughter slatter is under <laughs> slatter slaughter. <laughs> wow, involuntary manslaughter is underneath second degree murder. I think okay. it's so we want to get your vo- you can voice your opinion uh, right here eight five five nine six zero three six nine nine and you uh, posted the video. Yeah, the video is on uh, our homepage uh, speedyandfriends dot net. So you can go there if you want to watch it. I, like I said, I didn't want to watch it because uh, someone died in the process of that being shot. Mm-hmm. Um, it's got the audio; you can hear it. And it's like just, I said, I just feel like there's no one stepping to these police officers like somebody should right now. Hey, check this out, man. All these shooting black men, shooting anybody, that's not warranted for that to happen. Let's stop. Because there's no way after Ferguson that this should have happened. That he could even thought he could have got away. Because unless the the, uh, um, the 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 word is you can get away with it, so go ahead and do it and we'll figure it out. Because 9 out of 10, who thought he, he didn't think he was being filmed? He right. couldn't have thought that. Mm. An independent film. Yeah. Not from the vehicle itself. So. Well, the, the thing is. most vehicles the, have cameras on them. Yeah, even police they, have cameras on them. And they can turn them off. They're still doing the shooting. Yeah. They can turn them off. But my thing is, 
this won't stop until I feel like the uh, the whole eye for an eye concept. I feel like that needs to come into play first before anything for any change. But happens. that 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 would feed into what they say about us, pretty much. But you already dying anyway. Well, we, exactly, we already dying anyway. So it's like you know what. If y'all gonna take one of mine out, I'm gonna take one of yours out until y'all can really, but so then, y'all can really feel like. You but know what then I'm that causes, but see that that causes them to go see. They this is why I'm pulling my gun out first because it's been said they want to shoot me just because of what another police officer did, and I don't think that's the answer. I think more so the answer is we have to start stepping up as a as people and and voicing our opinion that it gotta stop. But that you go to the police the past hundred years. No, nah, but you go to those police More stations and you go, More hey, that, hopefully, and I want to, or you go to these town meetings or whatever it is. This is, uh, it needs to be voiced that you don't pull your gun out unless you have to, and they should know that. Every cop should know that because apparently this dude was like, no, nah, nigga, I'm, I'm shooting. Fuck what you're going through. But see, I hear your point, but with, but you gotta understand when they have these kind of conferences about the stuff we talking about. Mm. They in these cushy five star hotels, drinking mm-hmm. bottled water. They ain't around the people with who's in effect, and they get their little check and they going about their way. That's the get down. Right. Rule, rules, rules are rules. There has got to be a mentality that has to be, um, and that's what I'm prevail, prevailing overall to understand. Um, how to deal with the, each individual situation you're in. Because you have to police and you'll deal with violent situations because you are going to deal with violent criminals, unfortunately, in the world, legitimately violent criminals. And they but wear suits think. and they wear in, and they in yeah. high rises yeah, exactly. and they have a pen. Yeah. Exactly. And you can't think of everybody. Though. Let's get to these phone lines. We're, we're on fire right now. Once again, the number is 855. Oh, fuck that. No. 960. <laughs> Let me tell you why, man. Let me tell you why, man. 3699. Uh, please, we want to know. And when we come to you, make sure you say the words roll out. Uh, on the phone out of New Mexico, we have Otis. What it do, Otis? I is. Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? We're All right. Good. Hey, hey. Hey, um, I got something. I, I want to impound on one, uh, something one of you guys said about uh, they, the police officers uh, supposed to have uh, an SOP, so to speak, about uh, what to do when they uh, for their weapons. Yes. yes, they do. It, inside the academy, they are taught that if, unless you are you know, in dire danger, I mean, I mean, they are in danger every minute of the day because they are police officers. Let's, yeah. let's get that straight. Okay. But uh, and, unless you see, you know, a weapon, you know, or you feel like your life is in danger, you your your weapon is to stay holster. The, um, the reason why I say this is most most police officers are somewhat ex-military and they have the basically the same rule book. You know, dealing with certain things like that. When uh, uh, when uh, military goes down range, they are given an order, a uh, certain type uh, type of SOP. In this area, we your weapon is drawn at all times. Um, in this area, your weapon is lowered because we're trying to be uh, make peace with the area. You mm-hmm. know, but you know, someone for someone to shoot someone in the back, and believe me, I've seen it. You know, for someone to uh, shoot someone in the back like that. Um, and it had to be, I'm pretty sure he's going to say, oh, well, there was another one, and I felt threatened. Yeah, he and did. I shot and hit that guy. He did. Thank, Thank you, you Otis. I, and, and, and I understand what Otis said, was saying that I'm pretty sure they do get that training and that speech. But apparently, once he got to that police department, somebody had to tell him, hey, man, if it go bad, we got your back. And, and just we'll just we'll work it out. But if you're going to shoot. He ha- the person has to be dead so that we can get your story out because we can't have the second story of the guy going, nah, I was running, I don't have no gun, I didn't have no taser, wasn't no nothing else. I understand that. But besides the training, you got to understand when they go to target practice, shooting at a black silhouette. Yeah. Inside mm. the police room, you got the 10 most wanted, nine of us look like us. Yeah. So all around there, this is the negative. Then you got brothers in the back of the cage. Fuck y'all, all that. You know, they got that on it. So when you go out in the field, the dude that would just cuss me out back there looked like this dude. Mm-hmm. So I know he got that same mentality. So they don't treat you on an individual basis. Yeah. You heard it to some, to some bullshit mm-hmm. under the color of this bullshit ass color of law. All right. On the phone out of D.C., we got Steve. What's it up, Steve? Make sure you say the words roll out, man. Roll out. Roll, roll out. out. What do you What's talk up, to me, Steve? What's up, Mark? What up now? Hey, hey look, hey, look. Um, I, I agree with y'all, man, all the way, man. I agree with most of the callers, man. But what's what's really going to happen is like what you said earlier was, man. 
these folks are going to start shooting back. And it's going to be a whole different ball game then. But I, I think that's the wrong thing to do. I think I agree with you. Cause I totally agree with you, man. Because when it comes down to it, they got the other hand. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and then that that feeds into all the people that, that feel. Because right now, everybody's like, "Oh, uh, you know, we're going all oh, this fucked up." White people are like moving on with their life because it didn't have anything to do with them. But the minute right. someone goes, "Okay, now I'm gonna get pulled over. I'm gonna shoot a cop." Now right. we didn't got we didn't went into a different area. Now we're gonna take yeah. the light off of what's going on. Exactly, and that's what I'm hoping that the youngest don't do. Yes. Now they, they, I mean, this dude was 50 years old. He, yeah. He, you know what I'm saying? And the thing about it is, man, when it really comes down to it is, it's not just training. It's just the fact is that in this country, in this country, you got to understand something. They incarcerate more people in this country than most of the yes. industrial mm-hmm. world out here, man. Mm-hmm. In this yeah. country, and nine, nine times out of ten, they brown and they brown and black people. Yeah. That's so the true. whole system needs to be overhauled. The whole system. And it's not going to happen. Thank yeah. you for the phone call, brother. I appreciate that. Well, it is true, man. But, I mean, it's a, you know, it's a thing where people are only going to take but so much, man. And but I, I just don't think the no, answer not is, right. <laughs> as some brother in the car waiting to get pulled over and then shoot the cops or, or walking up to police officers and just shoot it. That's not what it is. Yeah. That's no, going to take away from, from us actually... Like we need to go have dialogue with the police department, and and people come in and go check this out, man. Don't keep shooting black men just because you don't think no one is filming this. I, Whether you think they're filming it or not, and I think it needs to be an independent. Like they got the justice department is going to look into the police department. Right. Come on, man. It's the same shit. My, I'll be honest with you. It, it, it goes deeper than that. The we, deeper, the deeper. What it is is you can't force everybody by taking away their income, taking away their driver's license where they can't afford to make money or make a living and then expect everybody to just be like, okay, well, I'm just going to throw my hands up and just go to jail. It's like you already fucking with me for no reason on this system. And then y'all say y'all ain't in cahoots. Y'all are in cahoots. Yeah, are. So people are figuring this shit out. So it's like, okay, well, fuck you. You don't give a fuck about me, then fuck you. Right. Hey, we need more of us in the system. Yes, we do. That, that's going to follow us. Out of out of South Carolina, turn your phone down or close your window or something. Ron, are you there? Ron? Yeah, roll out. Roll, roll out. out. Roll your window up, man. Roll your window up. Well, I moved to South Carolina in 2008 and I noticed when I had my California plates, I got pulled over more than anything. Mm, right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, and most of the cops that were there are young. They're young. You know, they take their police cars home and stuff, so you can see them <laughs> in the driveways and everything. I, that, to me, was, you know, funny. But they were, like, they were real racial. Like, you know, the one guy that pulled me over, I looked at him. He looked like a kid. And I said, I said, damn, dude, how old are you? He said, oh, yeah, you from California. You got jokes, huh? Mm-hmm. We don't do that shit here. Yeah, I right. mean, it's racist. It's racist. I mean, they lock brothers up over there like every day. I mean, me coming from California, dude, you don't fuck with the police. You know, you don't yeah. run. I ain't running. You know, you don't do that shit. But South Carolina, the brother cops, now, they'll, they'll, they they old school. They'll talk to you. They know what to do. But they got a lot of young, young, I mean, straight out of... Some of them out of the military you can work with, but some of them they ain't no military. Some of them out of they'll, high school. They'll crack you, man. They'll crack you off. All right. Yeah. Thank you for the phone call, man. Ron. Wow. We want to get to this call before we go to this break. Okay. Uh, Anthony out of South Carolina says he lives right near the area. Anthony, you there? Yes. Go ahead. Yeah, Roll go. out. Roll, Roll out. out. Thank you. Talk to me, man. Yes. I actually live down there. I travel that road every day with that. The shooting happened, and I can tell you, if you ever come down there to Charleston, there's four roads you better watch out for. Remount Road, when that happened, Rivers Avenue, Dorchester Road, and Ashley Falls State. That police department patrols them roads all day long. That area is highly populated with blacks and Latinos, and that's all they do, roll, ride around and profile people, mm, you know? Wow. And what they are also not saying about this incident is that that officer's taser, how he lied and said that the man tried to take it and use it on him. That taser that that officer had only deploys one set of tasers at one time. He'd have had to reload that taser again with another clip mm-hmm. in order for that, for, in order for the suspect to try and use it on the officer. So how the officer felt his life was threatened, I don't know mm-hmm. how he lied about that one. Yeah. And then the actual police chief and mayor 
trust me, don't think they actually just came out of yesterday officer because they feel it's the right thing to do. They got pressured by SLED to, um, to, to arrest that man because the person who took the videotape actually turned the videotape over to SLED first. SLED was coming down to press charges. When, when the police chief realized that there was a video out, video out, then he decided to step up. He didn't want to do it in the first place. No, I believe so they, right. Right. Now, I'm not yeah. familiar with FLED, Anthony, um, if I'm missing here. Tell me, what's, what's FLED? That's, that's, that's one of the big law, state law enforcement divisions. Okay. One of the big boys under, you know, the, before the FBI come down. They'll, okay. They'll send FLED into investigating officer shooting. Oh. But um, they, FLED was involved in the investigation, too. But like I said, that officer and them, the police chiefs and everybody was going to cover up for that officer or just yeah. I wouldn't per se cover up but at least believe his story before the videotape yeah they only had one side top three, you know? right. and, and I and I tr- thank you for the phone call I truly believe that 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 is the norm that they tell them okay if it go bad let it go all the way bad and that way we can cover up for you and another thing I, I was in um, we did uh, the black ski weekend in uh, Aspen Colorado mm-hmm and they gave me a rental car, and the rental car had California plates. I got pulled over every time. Like I had to go Damn. and pick up different people from mm-hmm. Aspen, and then go to Denver. Right. And and they gave me a SUV that had California plates. I got pulled over four times. Four times. Wow. <laughs> Driving back, I'm talking about in the snow. Whose car is this? Yeah, in the snow. <laughs> they saw, and then the one dude finally said, "Okay, it's the California license plates." And uh, where are you guys going? I said, "We're going to the." Um, we're going to ski. Line of business. Go ahead. And my yeah, man said, months. and then they pulled me. Oh, I don't know if who's in the car. Did you? Mm-hmm. I heard who went with me. Well, another comedian, and they pulled me over. And um, my man, uh, always, right? You were witness? No, you didn't go. And um, he says, well, I get my name, Donald Caldwell, whatever. And he goes, yeah, there's a Donald Caldwell that has a warrant. I said, come on, man, stop that. He's like, no, nah, I'm serious. I need you to step out. So I get out the car. I was like, dude, I'm first time I ever got pulled over. It was my fourth time. I said, you know y'all didn't pull me over three other times. He's like, oh, sorry about that. And then he starts to read my th- read the thing. He goes, yeah, Donald Call, whatever, whatever. He said, oh, 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 we got to let you go. I said, it's not you. I said, well, how do you know it's not me besides me not telling you to not me? He said, well, it's a white guy, and he's 5'9". I said, okay. well, he's taller than you. <laughs> you okay? It's pretty five, eight and a half. <laughs> so you lay down there, it's going to let you go. All right, on the phone out of uh, <laughs> West Palm Beach. We got to take a quick break. Yeah. We'll come right back. West Don't Palm move. Beach. Stay right there on the phone, man. Stay on the phone. We are back. It's a rollout show right here on Fox Hall. Speedy and friends, and I'll be speedy in the building we got. Cool guy P, what up? In the building we got. Mark Howard. Just joining us now, we got. Tyron Turner. In the building we got. <coughs> Teeter. On the wheels of steel, we got. DJ always, always in your ears. And uh, we're still going over... And talking about uh, the shooting that happened down in South Carolina, a young man, uh, 15, he's definitely young, uh, was shot in the back. Shot to death, Speedy. Yes. Shot to death in the back. And the police officer, unbeknownst to him, didn't know that it was being filmed. And so, Independently filmed. Yeah. And he decided to lie about give it. his lying ass story about it on yes, the phone out of uh, West Palm Beach Florida I would assume that is we got Rico on the phone what it do Rico make sure you say the words roll out roll out How roll, you out. roll out roll out bro. all right bro uh you know first of all I want to say I'm an attorney so oh. this type of stuff I see it all the time mm. with these officers you look at the reports and it's basically cut and paste these guys always writing the same exact things all oh, my life was in danger he reached for my gun you know he was resisting arrest Whatever it is, whatever the case may be, they everything they say is just cut and paste. It's the way they teach them from the academy how yeah. to write these reports. Right, that's they what I thought. It's the same exact thing every single time. Mm. And then the other thing is that these guys, they protect it at the top. You got to look at, when we have our elections, people don't even look at some of the positions that really affect your life. Like the attorney general, the one that's actually supposed to be prosecuting these officers, you know, your, your state attorney one that's prosecuting these officers, these are all elected positions. You know what I mean? Black people, we have an effect, and we can decide, you know, who's going to be, you know, enforcing the law. You know, who's going to be going after these officers. But we never get involved. But the police union, the police departments, man, they're all in these elections. And so they make sure that whoever gets elected is always going to be on their side. Mm-hmm. So if that's the way it's going to be, the person that's supposed to be policing the police is owned by the police, man. Who's ever going to really police? You know what I'm saying? And let me ask you a question. We're trying to figure out. So is he charged with...
with first degree murder or is it is it a different you know i didn't i i don't know too much about the case i just started hearing about it when i was driving i heard it in the radio mm -hmm. but i'm not sure i heard that he was um he was charged with murder but i'm not sure if it's first degree or second second degree murder the first degree murder would have the heart the highest penalty and the mm -hmm. second degree murder and then you know manslaughter and so on right. but, but first degree you got to prove premeditation right yeah you got to be able to prove that he knew that he uh, in advance that he was coming to kill this guy so it's kind of different in second degree it was just at a spur of the moment you know it's right. kind of like if you catch your wife in the bed with another dude and you kill him that's second degree murder or even sometimes manslaughter because you didn't come there with the intention to kill somebody but at that moment you know you just got into a rage and you killed him okay thank you for the phone call appreciate that that's great knowledge right there. and that's interesting on a cop situation because there's no rage other than the fact you're dealing with him on a routine stop and he runs. So there's no rage rate. It's but, just your but I truly believe, it's like you said, they're trained. I, I got to believe that they're told, even after they have these sensitivity things about, oh, you're in the community, you, you, this, that, and the other, that they're pulled to the side to say, hey, if it go bad, or you feel like whatever, we got your back. So oh, go yeah. for it. Yeah. Because if you told me as a police officer, hey, man, if you lie about anything, I ain't got your back on that shit, then I'm looking at this totally different because I know if I do something stupid and I lie on the report, these guys are not going to have my back on no lie. Well, I think also they take the I have your back thing too far. You yeah. should. I, I, we're in the trenches. I got to have your back. Yeah. But I can't say I'm going to support everything that you do that's wrong. You know, I know you fatally killed another human yeah. being. I'm not with that. Don't involve me with that to even try to lie for yeah. you. Uh, you know, At common like, law, fleeing felon rule permits the use of force, including deadly force, against an individual who is suspected of a felony and is in clear flight. So say it again now. This is, what is this? At it's common law. Common law. The fleeting felon rule permits the use of force, including deadly <laughs> force, against an individual who is suspected of a felony and is in clear flight. So if he already has a felon, a felony on his jacket, how are you going to pull up a pass case to say that he's in, you know, this is a fresh felon mm -hmm. that you're dealing with right now? Mm -hmm. But that's what they do. Okay, well, just pull up his pass and let's see what we can get. And, and he did this and he, so they scrambling. Mm. Yeah. All right. On the phone, uh, out of uh, Flint, Michigan, we got Steve on the phone. What to do, Flint? Steve? Roll out. Roll, Roll out. out. Man, what's going on, man? This stuff is crazy, ain't it? Man. Oh, yeah. Just, oh, yeah. With a capital C. Yeah. Even when you think it's going to yeah. stop, it doesn't stop, man. It's just like it's an ongoing right. thing. Well, I mean, a lot of things y'all talk about, like, for instance, the police. I mean, that's like pretty much a fraternal order. We yep, can't expect exactly. them to, you know, go outside of their bonds with each other and, uh, protect us because that's not really what they're there for Correct. you know there's a lot of things we don't have control of but what we do have control of a solution that i see that you know we don't even talk about is the fact that we all have camera phones and we should make them you know accountable and we have the right to record any interaction yeah so when they pull us over you just gotta let them know yeah i'm recording this interaction for my own protection yeah mm -hmm. you know you got your hand on your gun. I feel threatened, just like they feel threatened. We can let them know they we feel threatened, and it's being recorded. Right. So that's something that we really don't really look at, but it's important. Yeah. Great Thank you for point, the phone Steve. call, man. Great I, lo point. I love that. But that was the whole thing. Where everybody put your phones on the hood. You know, they try to get you with that that command shit real quick. It just no. That phone's not, a deadly not, weapon. But I think, my phone and, I, and if you want to voice your opinion, you can't get through because the call the call line is fucking lit. Uh, you can go to uh, cdandfriends.net. We have a live chat room where we're talking about it right now. Yeah. And did anybody say anything on there? Uh, what's this? Uh, oh, homegirl uh, Steph, she's talking about saying it's, um, it's cowardly. It's cowardly. So um, she's so glad that somebody videotaped the incident. So this way, if if it didn't get out, he would have got away with it. So okay. Much, yeah. All right. Uh, we're going to go to a quick break. Uh, we'll call in. I mean, call in. Give us your opinion, and uh, we'll be right back. Give me one minute. Fox O Radio. It's the Rollout Show right here on the Fox O. We're still in conversation about uh, what happened down in South Carolina, and I'm 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 coming to the Except clear, yeah, I'm accepting realization. Thank you. That um, this is taught because let's let's just go back to. 
the fact that he did not know he was being filmed. So if you don't know you're being filmed, you're going to do and say exactly what you've been told to say, mm-hmm. that you was in fear of your life. He, we had a struggle. He ran. I shot him because I was in fear of my life. But even if there's no camera involved, how are you in fear of somebody that runs away from you? That's like looking at a dog that ran away from me, and I, I'm saying I'm scared of that dog, but the dog Just ran the opposite you. way. Right. So that means the dog was scared of me. If the dog runs to me, now I'm in fear of my life mm-hmm. because he's chasing me. Right. So I I'm truly believe, and I have friends as police officers. They mm-hmm. may not tell me this. But I have to believe with everything that's gone on down in in uh, Ferguson, uh, everything that happened in New York, Cleveland, Cleveland, Miami, Miami, and all these different LA. cities, LA. LA, that they're being taught just do what you got to do, and we got your back. As long as you don't have somebody to rebuttal that, we'll have your back. Because the minute the film came out, his own lawyer and, mo- and lawyers usually can't leave their client. Mm-hmm. He decided, you know what, I, I, I can't do this because you, you lied. You can mm-hmm. walk off a case. You just can't speak about it or do anything covering it. Well, yeah. you're, I mean, you're still bound under uh, We want you guys' opinion. Privilege. 855-960-3699. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I want to say, Mark, you brought up a point earlier uh, when you said that we need more people in the system. I disagree with that because... If the system have, is flawed. Exactly. And if we have black people in the system, those black people have higher ups, those white people that have money, and those black people can easily be bought. You know what I mean? We so hope they can, but it's well, going to happen we, because we, need, we all want money. Been and, bought and sold a long <laughs> time ago. That's true, but we need our people in there to have the opportunity for it to change. Well, it ain't going to change the way it is. Well, the people if, that we need are people who are coming in. Like In other words, like I said, we need to have an independent set of people go in and say, check this out. After they get done, with they, this thing that y'all talk to them, they need to be taught that if you fuck up or you lie, you do not have their back. Because that's the only reason that you would lie. Because you think they, like when you go to, think about kids. When they get in trouble and they tell their mom, their mom goes, what happened? They lie to their mom because they go, well, I'm going to lie about this shit because my mama got my back at the end of the day. And she's going to believe what I tell her. Ma, mm-hmm. I didn't do that. Well, my son said he didn't do it. Keep it pushing. But my daddy be like, no, nah, motherfucker. The te- why is the teacher calling me? Why is the teacher going to lie on you? Right. That means you fucked up. Right. So now I knew, well, ain't no need of me going that route because my dad is going to believe the truth. He's not right. going to believe just me just because I'm his son. Right. Well, he, well, what it is that if you know that someone doesn't have your back and you're going to be held accountable for yeah, what you do, then you won't do then shit. Then you're going to make the decision. There's consequences and circumstances. Yes. That you're have to that's deal what, with. then that's exactly what I'm saying. They don't feel they have that. Right. Yeah. You're, they're, you're, Thank and you, you're absolutely right. I agree with you, me on you, some shit. <laughs> Hold on. I always agree on you. Uh, out of <laughs> Philadelphia, your hometown there, uh, brother. Randy, we got Randy on the phone. What to do, Randy? What up, boy? Roll out. Roll out. out. So, so check it out, Speedy. I know you made the statement that um, uh, how do you think he can get away with it after Ferguson? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's actually evident. You know, there has been overwhelming evidence, and since Ferguson, at least at least 10 other shootings of cops, black men by cops, who got away with it. So that's, and, just, that's just a given. That's right. But mm-hmm. what, what, as for the statement that was just made that we can't, inject change. That's the wrong attitude. Right. Thank you. With having people with having people in there, that's just the wrong attitude. The reason being is our mentality is just that. that exactly. Change. So we're not going to do it. Until we inject change and understand it, and I would ask you, did you do this, Speedy, because you have a voice. You have to start promoting those midterm elections. Because it's more it's bigger than just the president. Who okay. controls the House and the Senate controls the president. Right. So you can't get laws passed. You see, you see, like Eric Holder uh, resigning. We don't know why he resigned. He has no real reason for resigning. Every black man has been put in power, especially as the U.S. Attorney General. It should be the second most powerful man in the country. Can't get anything done. He did an independent investigation over in in Ferguson, and they still got off. So, so it's those midterms. We need we need to promote those midterms, just like the president. And until we do that, we're not going to inject change. And you know what, brother? Uh, from here on out, we are going to start promoting when their elections 
are going to be taking not just the presidency. That shit don't work. <laughs> Shut up. Thank you. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. We are going to do that. And Shut I appreciate that, that phone work. call. Philly in the house. Been now, voting for years. And look at, look at the state. It's the more, it's, but it's part of that. But at this point in time, with people like King and, and, and people have died for us to be able to vote, it should be past voting. We need to be in a position where we're putting people, we're lobbyists and we're putting people in office that's going to work for us because that's what's happening and we're, we're way behind the curve on this shit okay I, but when you go into office you gotta take an oath you take an oath to be on this side of the goddamn ball mm-hmm. a damn an oath my thing okay. is, is okay that, but if, 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 if i'm still a, if i'm still on the side with you and i don't take an oath then i'm still with you but if i take an oath with them i'm with them now no nah, th- it's, it's it's more deep than I that. I feel what he's saying. We, we can't just ignore it and say, oh, it can't happen, because then we can't complain about what's happening if we're not willing to do anything about it. And you got to vote. On the phone, no, out don't. of Sacramento, we, more we got gotta Keisha on the it. phone. Keisha. Presidents are selected, not elected. Keisha, are you there? Roll out. Roll, Roll out. out, baby. Talk to me. <laughs> so um, I, was, I was watching this video yesterday of this man getting murdered by the police. And uh, it really hit home for me because my nephew was murdered the exact same way a couple weeks ago before Trayvon Martin was murdered. Shot seven times in the back and left to die. His body was left overnight to the next day. So I can can definitely understand this. I'm just so tired of watching my people get slaughtered. Yeah. It's crazy. I don't know if... It's just getting worse, or they're just starting to give it more airtime now to where we can see it. But it's it's really sad. It has to stop. And I don't know what's going on with, um, like, the, 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 the black cops, you know, how they feel about it. Are they turning their... Are they turning a blind a blind eye to it? They are. It, it, you know, it, 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 it's, it's really hurtful. It's It's just... I don't know what to do to make it stop. I don't know if yeah, there's well, anything that we can do. Hopefully, we can figure something out, and uh, we're so we're, we're we're behind you, sweetheart. And uh, well, they took our oath. So, like I said, they thank you for the phone call, Keisha. What else they gonna do? But and I just have to believe, and I'm telling you, this is what it is. And the minute we open our eyes as people and understand that they're being taught to shoot us under whatever circumstances you come up with, we got your back. So go ahead and shoot. Because at nine out of ten, there's if there was eleven ki- killings, and mm-hmm. one got filmed, okay, we we could deal with that. But we the other nine one, we gonna roll with you on that until the people above him said, of the, these these young cops tell them we don't have your back on those stupid shit. Very important question. What time of the day did this this um, does it say what time uh, killing took place? March. Mm, I don't know. It, it was it daytime, so it wasn't at night. Well, I look on the... Okay, the, well, he didn't have a job. He's not contributing to society. So that was the mindset no. probably of this dude when he took him out. No, he has a job. It says here later on. It says at the end about him. That's why, four, that's why I asked what time children. of the day it happened. Um, Before you give me all that shit. Right. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> on the phone out of South Carolina. It was a Saturday, though, so he could have been off that day. No, you got, we got Brian on working the, phone. the weekend. <laughs> Brian, roll was it? Roll, roll out, out, brother. Roll Talk out. to me, man. You right there in the midst right. of it. Well, I, I actually don't live in South Carolina. I work in South Carolina as a truck driver, but I'm okay. also a paramedic, and I and I live on the border in Augusta. Okay. The deal is, is it's as a, being a paramedic, I know one thing is it you don't they don't have to teach this. This is a fraternal order. Police, fire, EMS, they all have basically a brotherhood. Right. You, mm-hmm. This is something that's not taught, but this is something that's discussed amongst ourselves. Mm-hmm. And you find you find discrimination, whether it be just because you're black, Hispanic, or poor. It's not just within the police department. It's also on fire and EMS. It also affects the way that uh, um, someone who calls 911, the way they get treated, whether right. or not that patient gets the right care or not. Believe it or not, I've seen it. I've had to argue that. I had to fight that. I have fought that for five years of being an EMS. Because you see the stuff that goes on. You see patients who look like sick, and that crap happens. Now, I would say I work with police officers on scenes. I've seen it where the, the person's run, the cop has had to fight with the, with the guy, and I've seen the aftermath. I, don't, I can't say that every cop is bad, but I know there are some that are. You know, in my area, I've seen the cops that have gotten picked up. we got cops right now that just got busted for doing steroids. There are bad cops. I mean, that's the bottom line. But the thing is, is we got to realize it goes deeper than the police department. It goes way deeper, mm. and if we if we pay attention, then we can make changes. We got to make changes. You know, we have to vote because if we don't, then I mean, then we basically folding our hands and sitting on them. 
Ah, thank, thank you for Brian. the phone call, man. Well, we got to be and, deeper. And, and, we have to. Well, let me show you how deep it goes, please. Federal Reserve, FBI, and Anti Defamation League were all formed in 1911. So put that on your pizza and let it marinate and see what the <laughs> ingredients come out for you. Sucker, buster, ho, trust her. <laughs> <laughs> on the phone out of North Carolina, we got Tim. What it do, Tim? Roll out. Roll, Roll out. out. Uh, I used to be a security officer, and um, we was on security company. But we was taught to shoot to kill. Once. It's over. Don't talk to nobody but our commanding officer. Mm -hmm. But it goes, but it goes back to that movie, uh, Higher Learning. You know, the scene where Remy was telling the old the Nazi guy where you know he was gonna drop out of school, and the Nazi guy was like, you know, you can't do that. We need you beat our people as doctors and lawyers and police officers and stuff like that. Right. Mm -hmm. And you know, we gotta look at it. They're, they're on our police forces and. I don't know how we can ever stop it when, you know, they can go in with the mentality of, you know, I'm a good person, uh, I'm going to uphold the law, I'm going to stick to the oath, but at the same time, they may have a hidden agenda. Like the one caller was saying about, you know, well, who's to say he went in with premeditation or whatever, but you never know, that might have been, he felt like that was his chance to go off a black person, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, get rid no of another black man. Thank you for the phone call. Uh, yeah, like hidden agenda is white supremacy, and and uh, blacks are cat and father for the goddamn movement. Like I said, I just I truly believe that they're taught if it go bad, make sure it go all the way bad, and then don't say nothing till till we show up. Mm -hmm. You got something? To say I want to say, um, what if like blacks started policing our own communities? i.e. like the Black Panthers, i.e. like the Bloods and the Crips back in the day, where and people, those people inside that community held each other accountable. You know what I mean? Where, well, they don't want us to have that kind of power. But that, that's the way because, white folks did it back in the day. Yeah, but they don't want us to have that power. Yeah. That's why, remember, at one so time we you were able... Because it seemed like voting isn't, well, at isn't one, the answer. I think that's all we got. Because outside of that, remember, well, you too young to remember this, and I know Teeter does, and now that you're that old, but... Uh, at one time, you were able to carry a shotgun mm -hmm. until the Black Panthers took them into the uh, state capital. State capital. Right. And then they said, we need it to was pass on the, the law. Yeah, they changed it on they the books. Because black folks came in there. Reagan did that. Yeah. No, the thing is, you. I mean, everybody does police their community. If it's somebody you know who's being pulled over, and then you go out there to see what's going on, to put your eyes on the situation. Everybody, you got a bag up and all this car. Why yeah, I got a bag yeah. up? I'm looking, and then they pushing and all that shit because they mm -hmm. want the chaos, and they want to shoot somebody. They want to take people to jail. So that's the whole get down. It's like, okay. you back the fuck up or you going to jail. That's you know that's the whole thing. So he want to put fear yeah. into you. On the phone right now, uh, our boy who had something he had to do today. Who we got, got Zoe on, on the line. What's happening, Zoe? Zoe? What it do? What's, what's happening, family? Talk to what's me, man. So, so, me. What up? What do you yeah. think about this, man? Listen, man, um, it's not to protect and serve disrespect. in the African-American community. It's to disrespect disrespect. and serve. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, you know, at the end of the day, police are trained not to police and protect communities, they're, they're trained to police stereotypes. Mm -hmm. And if you follow the, uh, you know, the timeline on this situation, this brother just had a tail light out. Mm -hmm. That was the reason for him being pulled over. Mm -hmm. Then the justification for shooting and killing the brother, you, sh you shoot him eight times, the justification is, I feared for my life. Well, that's a contradiction. You can't fear for your life if you're in pursuit of the dude. Mm, yeah. <laughs> How can you be in pursuit of the dude and yet fearing your life? Yeah. <laughs> he, you chasing him. <laughs> Which lets you, and that's what I said, Zoe. I said, it has to be something we don't know about that is written for them that if it go bad, say whatever, say these words, and we'll have your back. Because 9 out of 10, it's not being filmed. Right. If this wasn't filmed, this brother, would, this police officer, would be at home yeah. on, on on administrative leave, yep. paid administrative leave, yeah. and then it would go under the water. It would go under the bridge after yep. everything settled down. Mm -hmm. yep. But because somebody caught him doing this, 
I mean, just think about it. The dude owed child support. He's running because he don't want to go to jail. Right. And I'm going I'm to put eight bullets in him, in his back. Yeah. In the Wild West, when you shot somebody in the back, you were considered a coward. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and you were considered to be in the wrong. Exactly. That's why I emphasize the back, though. So. Yeah. Exactly, man. So it's, you know what? And, and here's the thing. Black people should not get too excited because when we, uh, you know, scream and kick and stomp and march for justice, for a system, it's like going to the devil and asking the devil for grace. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, if you look at the Oscar Grant situation up in Oakland, Fruitville Station, that brother, no, that police officer was caught on camera shooting this brother while he was handcuffed. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He got manslaughter. He probably stayed in jail a couple of years. He's out now. Wow. And he gets to live the life he wants to live, but he took a young father who was trying to fix his life, and there's no reparation for that. No, right. you're right. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right. Uh, you know, but just, but here's my thing: How do we fix this? Being that we know, like I, we know right now that they're being told, do whatever you got to do, say what you got to say. We got your back. Outside of voting, and, and most people don't want to believe in that, but I do believe voting Fuck helps. Voting. Uh, what, is there, what else could we do? Do we just start recording every time somebody gets pulled over, somebody should pull over and record? Let, let me tell you what's, what, what, what we got to do, and this is unfortunate, but the system, I heard somebody say white supremacy. The system of white supremacy wants to reinforce in black people's mind, the religion known as drapedomania. Mm -hmm. Now, drapedomania was created by the founder of our, psychi of our psychiatry practice in America. His name is, is uh, I think his name was Bush <laughs> or Rush, and his name is still on every graduate from the School of Psychiatry. His name is still on their certificate <laughs> because mm -hmm. drapedomania is the belief that you can whoop a black man into submission. Mm. He should not want to run away. He should not want to separate. He should not want to have his own. And the only way to break him from running away is to beat him into submission. Right. Mm. Now, this is the Stephen A. Smith way of dealing with things. Mm, talk about it. Shots fired there, Zo. You know, dress right, act right, do right, and they ain't gonna bother you. Well, I believe that's what's wrong with black people in America today. Mm -hmm. We're too busy coping, you know, trying to just survive in a racist society as opposed to standing up like Muhammad Ali did, as opposed to standing up like Jim Brown did. People who, who believed in something and stood up and said, no, nah, we're not going to do this no more. Y'all not going to do this to us no more. Mm -hmm. But we got people out there like Stephen A. Smith, like Charles Barkley, those types of folks that want us to kowtow. This is drapedomania all over again. I've never now, heard of that. Zo, uh, I, that's the first time I heard that. God damn. Go ahead, Zo. No, I'm just saying. Now, what we going to do? I'm telling you what black folk going to do is going to sit back and let this die down like we normally do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, we done seen little kids get killed, 12-year-olds, uh, Tamir Rice out of Cleveland. Right, mm -hmm. we saw him get killed. Didn't nobody say nothing about him. I mm -hmm. guess they were desensitized because of Michael Brown right. and Trayvon Martin. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna let this go on like we normally do. Yeah, because that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, I'm saying. If you look at my post on Facebook, I said, I said, I, I, I posed that question when I put <laughs> no, when no, I put this no, up there. No, fuck your Facebook. No, I, po you, I posed the same question. I said, we can riot, we can do all this, but what are we really gonna do about this? Shit? What are we gonna do? What are we really? No, gonna do about we ain't gonna do nothing. All right, thank Zoe Williams in the building. Thank you for the phone call, man. Appreciate I, I never heard of that before, but I will definitely research that from here on out. I have the definition for <laughs> drapedomania. Okay, uh, uh, you have to go ahead. Uh, it was a uh, supposed you, mental illness described by American physician Samuel A. Cartwright. It was used. Cartwright. Um, it was caused black slaves to flee captivity. And today, drapedomania is considered an example of pseudoscience, a part of uh, edifice of scientific racism. 
Right. Supreme ideology they claim to hold. You know, if you don't bow down to that shit, they look at you like, well, what's wrong with you? No, right. what's wrong with you? It's true right. mentality. Out of Philly, we got Tanja. What up? What's up, Tanja? Are you there? Yeah, roll out. Roll, roll out. out. Hey, uh, wow. Today, I've been listening to all the different comments. A lot of them very much so justified in the last brother that was born. So. Regarding the Stephen A. Smith mentality. Mm-hmm. I totally get it. Yeah. Um, you mentioned something about when you uh, rented a car mm-hmm. and you were going to Aspen. Yes. And I, I always remember my mom telling me whenever I rent a car to make sure that it has the license that comes from the state that I'm in. Right. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I should have um, did that. Because of the fact that many years ago we rented a car, and I remember as a kid, and the police pulling my dad and my mom and me over and whatnot and stating that we were uh, rolling with a bunch <coughs> of uh, motorcycle riders. Mm-hmm. And as a kid being in the back of that car, and we're in the South, you know, traveling, you know, my dad, who who totally believes in being an upright citizen and doing all the right things, following the law and all of that, and here I'm watching my dad being pulled out, put to the ground, and being charged with something that was so crazy that, like, we're riding with a bunch of motorcycle riders, and I'm a kid in the back of the car, and from that point, I knew that... You know, you you kind of have to be like on your defensive and almost like yes sir, yes ma'am, and all that kind of stuff, just to kind of, you know, prove to them. I, I'm okay. Go on again. You're wrong. neutered. Yeah, yeah, you're neutered. You know what I mean? It's like you know, uh, okay. I know that I haven't done anything wrong. I know that I don't have a criminal background or anything like that. But you're pulling me over and you're asking me these questions. You're making me nervous because you do have your hand on your gun. Mm-hmm. You know, so um, we can put the cameras up and we can say, sir, you know, I'm going to videotape this. And the gentleman just did that. And, and they're saying that, oh, he was trying to provoke the, the officer in doing these things. And I'm like, no, what he was trying to do is he was trying to prove a point that, you know, this officer was out of line, you know. And then the officer gets, he gets pissed off because now he thinks you're trying to be smart. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, it's almost like a catch-22 in a way. You know, I mean, this South this South Carolina situation, you know, it has gotten out of control. I still always and always believe that the folk down in the South have never been free, you know. Um, and you always have to walk on pins and needles down there. Mm-hmm. I'm from Philly. It's East Coast. But we still have our issues here. Indeed. Absolutely. And, 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 and I, I don't want to cut you off, babe, but I have to. All over the place, but. Th- th- thank you thank so you, much Tanya. for your, your call. Great talk, fucking real call. Talk, real talk. Uh, again, again, I think as people, just in general, black, white, whatever you are, we're going to have to start just saying, okay, if, if you understand there's an unwritten thing that they're going to say, and do whatever they got to do to cover up for themselves and cover their guys back. Less because the only power we have, as I can see it, is videotaping every situation. Because the only thing they can say is, "Well, you don't know what happened before that came on." Because that's the only thing you can tell me. Right. That was the first thing they were trying to say. Yeah. No, Rodney King. Be. Yeah. That's the only thing that covers your ass is that you don't know what happened before he starts recording. So. Mm-hmm. We as a people, if you're black and you see a nut, and I'm not, you know, if you want to do this, I think I'm going to do it. I don't give a fuck. I got a camera. If I see somebody get pulled over, a black person, I'm going to get out and I'm going to videotape. Right. Why? Because I want that young man or that person in that car to feel like I got your back. Mm. And I'm going to have your back if this happens to you and you get pulled over for a busted tail light. And don't get me wrong. The reason they have to go with the busted tail light shit, because uh, if I'm not mistaken, mm-hmm. the uh, was it the stalker who was killing everybody in California. Richard Ramirez. Well, not him, but uh, the white the, uh, 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 Bundy. Oh, Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy was pulled over for having a busted tail light. 
So that's why that's probably being told. That story's being told throughout all of them that because of this busted tail light, how we caught this guy. So right. having a busted tail light could mean okay, he could be something else could be going on mm-hmm. because your tail light's not fixed. So if your tail light not fixed, you probably don't have insurance, and it goes all along with that. So all that follows that. So don't get caught up in the busted tail light. And you know how else you can get a busted tail light? How's that? Because when he walk up to the car, he hit it with his baton. Mm-hmm. That's how you get a busted tail light too. That, that is true. Got to know when it started. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that take it start there. All right. Uh, yeah. We come back. We have uh, Gallagher coming up. We're gonna. We appreciate all the phone calls. We appreciate yes, yes, everybody yes. that chimed in on this. We can't get to everyone. Go ahead, uh, bro. And I just want to say in this moment, we do want to give a special birthday shout out to the Biz Marquee because nobody beats the Biz. <laughs> so when we come back. We got Gallagher. We're gonna get into some weird news. Thank you so very much for helping us out with this topic. It's Roll Out Show right here on the Fox Show. It's Speedy and Friends, and I be Speedy up in this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the building, we got. Uh, cool guy P, what up? Yeah, you about to go. In the building we got Mark Howard, <laughs> represent. In the building we got Sleepy. Iron Turner. In the building we got. I just ain't taking. Teeter. In the building we. Oh, on the wheels of steel we got. DJ always, always in your ears. And uh, in the Philippines he's known as DJ Albino. Oh my dad. Oh my dad. DJ over oh there. DJ for Pacquiao. That fight coming up really fast. Yeah. Nigga, it's around the corner. Uh, can't wait for that fight. I'm in Vegas. I'm doing things. <laughs> Is going to happen for no, anyway. Uh, we got special guests coming in in a few minutes, and until then, uh, can we get into some weird news? Yeah, weirdy, weirdy, come weird, come wall. You don't like that? Yeah. I was good. This nigga so corny. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tyra. I didn't God, say dang. it first. And you're so sleepy. Anyway. I'm never sleepy. <laughs> you always sleep. Shit. I ain't never, never sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mark Howard, what weird news do you have for us today? Ex-Hill aide who admitted to two assaults avoids jail after becomes after becoming a victim. Hmm? What happened? Yeah. What is it again? Ex-Hill huh? aide who admitted to assaults avoids jail after he becomes a victim. Mm. I still don't understand. You know you want to proofread yeah. this shit. <laughs> no, no. The, the, huh? head, the headline is janky to, to get you going with that point. Basically, we have an aide who basically he was a, a, a aide on Capitol Hill. Okay. Named Donnie Ray Williams Jr. So like a brother. <laughs> <laughs> Long time aide, Donnie Ray. former staff director for a Senate Homeland Security and Government Affairs subcommittee. Basically, was with a, had a woman. He was trying to help her find a job. Okay. Where he had, we do that? Where it was told that he had slipped something in her drink. Oh, and uh, raped her, sexually assaulted her. Okay, and he was going to be doing a time for it, but then he got assaulted later on. Someone threw acid on him and disfigured him. And oh, yeah, I saw the picture. Got a big bubble on top of yeah, him. He has a. He need yeah. a beanie. Did it call? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah. so do we feel bad for him? Well, I guess the judge did. What? Oh, cause why? What happened? This nigga just not reading. This no, no, no. I'm. Mark, I'm you can't do no, that on air, dude. I'm not just reading. I'm. I'm going over what I'm saying. I'm not just if reading. If you read it, over it, you wouldn't have to go. You're looking at what I'm doing. You're assuming that. That's not what I'm doing, <laughs> sir. <laughs> you're looking what I'm doing, and you're assuming that so I'm my doing eyes that. Are lying. No. <laughs> so, so you're looking over the story now. Turn the lights I'm on. I'm always man. looking over the story. Speed. Turn the lights oh, on. Oh, my God. Turn, see. It's turn it's that light down on here, man. You got cataracts. This nigga sitting there going, uh, You asked so. me a question. I'm looking for this particular part. But if you read detail, it already, you wouldn't have to look for it. I don't have every detail. Like I said, I don't read every little bit. I get the uh, basic synopsis of certain details. Please. 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 All right, Mark. So, somebody in the State Department. Yes. He, he was he was accused of rape to a woman that, that he was supposed to be helping find a job. He tricked her okay. and I think he was going to find her a job. Uh, someone he found her pussy. He was, <laughs> so he did rape. <laughs> yes, he did. Okay, he did. He did. He did. All right. Damn. So, so in a letter, a woman asked the Williams oh. who plead guilty to uh, assaulting her and another woman and threatening a third person be given jail time. The other two people weren't present in court, but as part of the plea deal, prosecutors agreed to ask the judge to suspend a four and a half year prison term, meaning Williams will remain free as long as he stays out of trouble. All right. Through that, a man, uh, when he was walking, a man threw some acid on him. 
So he got some free pussy, and then the judge said, "We're gonna, we, we not." He felt fuck. bad for him. if you want to look at that way. Well, yes, he, yes, he yes. felt bad for him after somebody threw some acid on. Him. So was the judge a man or a female? Doesn't say. <laughs> I could read over it. And find out. <laughs> Why don't you do that? It, do, it, doesn't, it doesn't get into particular. It doesn't get into particular. See what happened when you have a motherfucker judge. just because they needed something to eat. God damn, man, man, fuck what y'all story. talking about, man. I'm doing a particular part of no, the story. Well, you, you asked, asked me a story questions earlier today. Did you or did you not? Watch this. Watch this. No. Teeter, what do you have for us, dog? Teeter ain't got as much as I have down, so fuck y'all. Go, Teeter. Son, take the wheel. Police. Man used 13-year-old son as getaway driver. Mm. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Police say that Albuquerque man opened fire at a customer... <laughs> He argued with at a gas station and used his wow. 13-year-old son as a getaway driver. Look here, son. Pull the seat up. Put your seatbelt <laughs> on. I'm finna buck this motherfucker. <laughs> and we gonna get up out of here. Okay, Dad. So the, the son's driving. Son is driving. 13. 13 years old. He the getaway driver. Man, little Jesus right now. Bless his heart. 13-year-old. <laughs> he down for his daddy. No I'm out of the injured. gas station. Probably no one not. was injured. I know that much. <laughs> yeah, no one was injured in the situation. You know <laughs> He already been, you know, sneaking the car out at night, so yes. Pops already knew that. Man, yeah. the motherfucker can drive. I'm going to let him get down one time while I buck at this motherfucker Wait a real quick. How dumb is the dad besides that? He's shooting at a gas station. Well, yeah. oh, Speedy, he, was, he, didn't, he didn't hit the pump. He was trying to hit the dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go on a limb and say the dude was near the pump. You watch too many movies, man. Hey, all all I know is they don't blow up like that. The gas tanks is in the all ground. All I know is They do ch- blow up like that. The fuck is you talking about? Shoot him. So you telling me if I shoot at a at the at the thing right there with the nozzle. What, what, what thing? <laughs> the gas pump. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If I go. shoot that. It ain't gonna blow up. You ain't gonna hit it. As big as that motherfucker is, I'm gonna hit Speedy, something. You ain't gonna hit it. You have Fuck no gun you. experience. Hilarious. <laughs> Would now, you if it was a drive through uh, menu window, then, uh, yeah, you would hit that. <laughs> I don't want nobody driving my firstborn. <laughs> <laughs> Ride or die. So, investigators say the father ordered his son to drive away while he fired his gun in the air. See, he fired it in the air. Nah, 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 nah. Police pulled over the car they not too far from down. the gas station and uh, facing charges including child abuse and, you know, Neglect and neglect, and you know, yeah, all the but little does the kid, cases. Did they charge the little kid for, for what? He, get he had his seatbelt on. Nigga, you the getaway driver. He uses okay. blinker. Unlicensed driver. Yeah, you 13. You going to jail with me. Because I'm a father. If I'm your dad, hey, I ain't telling the driver. But the nigga got Speedy, the key word here is ordered. The father ordered the 13 year old. But for the 13 year old to not have an accident, to hear all the gunfire at 13, I think I want that nigga with me if I do something too. I ain't gonna lie. All right, all right. <laughs> hey, Teeter, does it say that the kid got uh, arrested? No. Hmm. The kid was not charged. See how he did that? He didn't thump he through did, the paperwork. No, he had one half a sheet of paperwork. See, he didn't thump through the paperwork to look Mark, for the I had, He didn't have paperwork to thump through. He had one sheet. You're the worst. Hey, Mark, summarize. Do what? You gotta summarize. Summarize. All right, Tyron. All right, Tyron. Fuck you. How about that? <laughs> hey, man, fuck me. In I the like building. I like how he fuck up, but he wanted to yeah. bring the attention on me. That's, that's what, no, I want you to be no, that's accurate. Something, no, that's something that a bitch would do. I want you to be and accurate. You're a bitch. For that. <laughs> you see a bitch, slap a bitch. No. Tyron, slap him. You're closer. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the man almighty who just walked in yeah, right now? Yes, oh, my man goodness. Man almighty. Man. Jeez, Come we, we got royalty in the building. Sit with our heathenist asses. You can grab those headphones right there on top of the uh, mic. He's above headphones. I don't I'm need these headphones. Need yeah, <laughs> just need to smash some shit. Don't smash shit while you're in here. In the building. In the lair. In the lair. In the lair. Called the lair. Gallagher is in the building. Thank you, man. For Gee. Man. Hanging well, out I like you. this idea of a lair because I'm a Leo, born July 24th, <laughs> and I'm a lion, and uh, my name is Leo on top of that, and uh, so I'm glad to be here in the lair with the other cats. Yeah. Wow. Well, he's a feline right there. So. <laughs> <laughs> 
What are you doing these days, man? Uh, our fans know you as the smashing. You know, there's smashing so much guy. more to me than just the smashing. I spend a lot of time writing songs and poems and uh -oh. getting ideas for movies and plays and entertainment in general. I really should be running one of these uh, <laughs> Universal, Disney. That's right. Uh, I, and I just, I, I didn't want that responsibility. You oh, know, no. I like just running around making enough money to get by. But now <laughs> I've had four heart attacks. Wow. And, uh, you know, I just don't think I know anybody that's had two. And so, <laughs> Hilarious. And so I feel a responsibility to um, disgorge some of my ideas and help the world to be a better place. That's right. For real. Uh, and so that's what I'm doing uh, in the next few months. I've got a lot of ideas on my iPad here. Mm -hmm. uh oh. And uh, you got a song for us? Sure. Give me th what you got. Well, I have to get a feel for the group, and then I know what fits. You see, because I write for all different types of people. I got a poem for Michelle Obama. You know, she can't get these kids to eat right. right and I've got right. my duck poem on my website if you go to GallagherSmash.com and you see uh, this poem teaches kids how to eat right and okay. then you could see in their belly if they eat a rainbow uh -huh. then uh, a duck is really a boat so it could have a porthole and you could look in there. So wow. if the kids eat right they get a sticker goes on their belly okay. of, and it has a rainbow in it. Gotcha. I okay. think that's fun. I do too. I, I know about kids. Well you can see this guy's belly right here. He, just, he is the duck. Well, uh, it also teaches kids. It teaches kids uh, to not criticize somebody because they because <laughs> they waddle. Because a duck can also fly. It can go on top of the water and it can go submarine. So the fact that it has to waddle down the road shouldn't be against. You. It shouldn't, shouldn't hold it against. It. All point. of my poems teach something. I got one about a butterfly who's getting arrested for something she did as a caterpillar. Wow. She tells the cops. <laughs> she tells the cops. What she tell the cops? Got I'm it. changed. I'm so. Different right. than I was back then, and this for kids that are incarcerated to think you don't need to stay that caterpillar, and you can fly. Right. You can be different. Good you job. can fly. Yeah. You and so to uh, I, I feel inspired right. by these That's things, true. and I want to do good in the world. I have ideas that uh, help our fallen heroes to, oh, to be more person, a uh, person, personality. You know, everything's uniform in the government. When when mm -hmm. they come to put a wreath on. The on Memorial Day, they're all the wreaths are the same, and the people were different. Wow. And I think they should go to a website sponsored by the government that tells a little bit about each one of them. And a family could choose that fallen hero and make a wreath especially for them. What Personal a good like project, like, man! Great what if form. we started that right here on the program? We do it right got here. That to be right on the rollout show. I want to know who in the government uh, we need to talk to to get this uh, to happen. And I have another idea for a website. Give Maybe we me. could all make some money. This it's called the archives before you die mm -hmm. as a grandparent you look straight in the camera and give advice as you would to a grandchild or a young person on anything money yeah. sex love yeah. work right. whatever and people even that don't have a grandparent can go to the archives mm. of wisdom right. glean from a lifetime of experience nice and that you know and then we'd show that we revere what a great thing to say about your grandparents they're on grandpa's on the archives right, you right, know right. what did he say and then they can all go to hear what they said and then the popularity of it can be judged right. and Categories. bubble to the top mm -hmm. and whatever. My son is on Reddit all the time. This is your son? Uh -huh. Barnaby. Ba and Barnaby, what instrument is that? He bought a sitar. I know it's a, a sitar. Does that right? Yes, it's a sitar. 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 Okay. It spells what it does. You sit and play the guitar. I, I knew that. I was just saying it. You think that your kids are going to be just like you. <laughs> Gallagher, an Apollo legend. <laughs> now, is he in? Are you on stage with your dad? Sometimes, yeah. Oh, you can you get on this mic right here, man. Yeah, Come get on. up here. Come on up here, man. Sometimes I need background music because of the wisdom in okay. my jokes. Okay. And so when I say that, you know, a show should have dynamics. You yes. can't just stand there at the True. mic. The That's why I go. I know okay, there's here. plenty of comics that do that. Yeah. But I believe that your show should be like a, a variety show, and yes. it should have some ups and downs. People they get uh, tired of the same yeah. thing. Complacent. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's why I got all we these. We lose them, and so Barnaby comes. 
comes in and I do some words of wisdom. You want to hear a couple? Yeah. Uh, Ready, Marty, could you now, give us a wise... Explain the, the what, what I'm looking at. Our listeners can't see it, but explain that to me, please. Okay, He's got a bong on the back of it. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like it, at least. Yeah, so this is a, uh, a Heron Roy sitar made in 1971. And, it's a good uh, year. It was, it was a very good year. <laughs> and uh, that matters a lot for sitars because they open up over time. Okay, okay. okay. As they're played over years and years, the sound gets better. So okay. it's like a woman. Mm. Some women. <laughs> they Some open women. up over time. <laughs> All right, here we go. You ready? He's going to play. You. All right. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the Foxhole presents live Gallagher and the sitar. sitar. And my words of wisdom. Never let your mother brush your hair when she's mad at your dad. (laughs) If you want to get back at someone you love, wait till they get in the shower. (laughs) Then flush the toilet. (laughs) I want all you lovers to be fair. Let the other one sleep in the wet spot half the night. (laughs) I want you parents to remember children who have a well-balanced breakfast before school are the only ones who throw up in gym class. (laughs) (laughs) And I want all you vampires to quit chasing Christians. If you'll chase Jews, they won't have a cross. (laughs) (laughs) I never thought of this. (laughs) Oh, shit. (laughs) That's dope as fuck. Words of wisdom. <laughs> Chase a Jew like that. a cross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can, hear a cr- I can hear a vampire. Oh, I never thought of that. <laughs> One. <laughs> two. Man. That was fucking. Now, how long you been playing that sitar? I'm about two years. Um, okay. Two to four hours every day. Wow, you're terrible. <laughs> He's fucking <laughs> great. He's practice. focused, I'll yeah. tell you. So what is the thing at the top? Um, that's a gourd, and the entire neck is hollow. Okay. And so this gourd up here is a resonator, and so it gives you more low end. Oh, mm. okay. And there's a rule you have to have no shoes on to play it? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, look, otherwise it would slip out. You see? He, he uses the friction on the bottom of his foot to hold the instrument in place. I'm t- it's a chick magnet. I'm just telling yeah. you. <laughs> he serves tea at a little table, yeah. and the girls just can't wait for him to say pu'er. Isn't that how you say it? Yeah, that's a Chinese fermented tea. That's Whatever. Pu- it's a chick pu- magnet. Pumer? Does that right? Pu-air. 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 He makes some tea and plays a sitar and then also the American Indian flute and then gets out a big old uh, didgeridoo from Australia. I know what that is. And then, you do? Uh, yeah, that's the big giant. What thing would you do? Oh, yeah. Well, the, the, his show mother. builds. Do that against me. <laughs> Look like you had so where is that instrument dick. originally from? <laughs> it's from India. India. Oh, okay. Oh, so that's what I hear when I go into the instant place. I, mean, <laughs> I heard that going to a 7-Eleven. That, that's kind of racist. <laughs> <laughs> very, yeah, so he on. does shows like, around, yeah. you know, sometimes. Yes. Uh, in uh, well, all kind of situations. Yeah, what I do is I provide like a space that isn't normally at a party. So okay. there's there's the dance floor, and then there are all these other zones in larger events and even festivals. But there isn't a place to just chill and 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 relax and really connect with people. And so I bring a tea table and I set up. A, a, but there's a Chinese, pillows, a right? Chinese tea ceremony, uh-huh. and now I play all sorts of music too in between. And uh, I, have, I have Tibetan bowls, I have flutes, I play guitar a little bit, and I have this gigantic gong that now sits behind me. Yeah, that's what she called it, too. <laughs> <laughs> that's the Gallagher part of the show. <laughs> <laughs> the I'm you telling you, it's like, oh, how, what is it, like four feet across? It's 38 inches. It's called a pasty... Mm-hmm. Sound creation earth. And he gong. just don't bong it. He drags this rubber mallet across it. And uh-huh. I'm telling you, it's it's it like good dope. The, the, the girls are right there. Whale from space. Uh-huh. I'm stoned in every show I do. <laughs> I, there's no video of me straight. I, I mean, I do not exist as a straight person. In the building right now, we got Gallagher. Wait a minute, Gallagher, do you have a cannabis car? Do you have. Are you, no, no? It, it seems to take all the thrill out of it. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sign this fucking paper. I'm not going to do it legally. <laughs> right, right. Not yes, after sir. all the years I've been smoking. <laughs> A certain appeal about doing illegality. I worked illegality. with Jim Stafford. We had the first song about marijuana on the radio, uh, uh-huh. Why Would Weed. I know it's a Jerry Jeff Walker song, but we put jokes in it. Uh-huh. And then the first song about homosexuals, My Girl Bill. This okay. goes all the way back to the early 70s. Right, right. I'm telling you. My Girl you, Bill. That's right. It's Teeter's thing. At one point, uh, Bruce Springsteen opened for Jim. Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, I go way back. I didn't want to be on stage. It's a stupid job. Okay. okay. You know, I'm smart. I didn't want to do it. So I was helping him be famous. I did that for five years one time. I was right. 25 till 30. And then by then, I didn't know what to do with my life. So. Yeah, I read now, that about when you. Uh, the smashing the fruits and things became so big, when it was like, yo, did you ever go, I don't want to do it today? And then the people were like, no, I came with my... My thing, so I won't get all the shit. I came on with me. my grandma yeah. from Nova Scotia. I came with it. my poncho. Did all you ever right. get to that point where you just like, I'm not doing it no more? Uh, in the daytime, I do doubt whether or not I have the energy or the I am feeling of doing a show at night. But I smoke about a half an hour before the show. Nice. And then yeah. the excitement of the audience. Okay. Uh, when I go out there, even if I'm in a bad mood, they get me going. Okay. Right. Okay. And okay. I I do about three hours, so eventually I get to rolling. And uh, it's three hours on stage. Yeah, time just goes by when right. you're stoned. I ask him, how long? <laughs> I said, how long I've been up here? And they say, it's 11 30, Gallagher. Right, and right. I ain't even smashed yet. And right. I started at eight, you know. All right, wow. we got to take a quick break. We'll have your son play us out. Can you play us out? We'll be right back. It's uh, the rollout show right here on the Fox Hole. The Snipey machine is broken, my friend. <laughs> yeah. See, that sets the tone right there. Man. Wow, I am yeah. sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the rollout show right here on the Fox Hill with Speedy and friends and I'll be Speedy. In the building right now we got. Mark Howard representing. In the building we got. Gallagher. In the building we got. Speedy. Hilarious. <laughs> In the building we got. Tyron Turner. In the building we got. Teeter. On the wheels of steel. DJ always, always in your ears. And down on the sit guitar. Sit- oh. Sitar. Sitar, we have. Barnaby Gallagher. Yeah. Barnaby Gallagher. Now, Gallagher's in the building. Uh, you have shows coming up, right? Yeah, I'm just uh, gigging around. Uh-oh. I was in upstate New York over the, uh, the whole uh, snowstorm season. Yeah. Wow. All them storms that came through of hitting Boston hit me first in Utica, Ithaca, Oneont, uh, Syracuse, Did they still come out? Potsdam. Yeah, because they clear the road. You know? Oh, wow. Right. Them people are used to it up there, oh, right, and right, they right. want to get out of the house. I was amazed. That was the time to go see them. When it gets summery, they go hunting and stuff. Right. And so I caught them. It was good. Yeah, I was up there gigging around. You know, as a comedian, you just got to work. Yes. You got to yeah. get in front of people. Yeah. And I learned so much more about my jokes every okay. time I say them. And the different situations, even if it's a small crowd, I'll learn to move along quicker, okay. get to the punchline, what's really funny. Right. You know, it's real hard. Then when I get a big crowd and they're polite, I just murder them. I beat them up because right, I've been right. trying it out and I got my muscles together. I've been doing a small, stupid crowd. And then I, I hit them and I just beat them up go ahead <laughs> now speaking of being a stand-up obviously i've seen you for years do it uh, i know that uh, comedy central listed you as the hundredth best stand-up comic there in history there yeah that was some, some interns that. that didn't have nothing else to do with <laughs> right. it. yeah. insult me right, right. a hundredth i'd like to, i'm still doing it after 40 years tell right. me do you look at that list and you tell me who did 14 shows for showtime and is still performing i've done five four thousand shows i do about five watermelons a show i've smashed twenty thousand watermelons right. and uh they did it just to insult me they said let's put gallagher at the last one right, right, you right. know i belong up there around 10 i, I, I think so yeah you know richard liked me uh, richard would come down to richard the lewis i'm just kidding prior <laughs> he'd come down the i, I snorted coke with richard <laughs> Tell that story. I'm going to tell you. Well, Richard's sitting on the steps in the back of the comedy store, and the comics are all around him, you know, talking uh-huh. real nice. And I said, what the fuck are you guys being nice for? Uh, oh, I said that. I don't know. If you're I, good. You're good. Okay, you so you were family. I said, I said you, I, and I started telling on him. I said, you did this, and you, and Richard's bo- d- laughing his ass off because I'm telling the truth on right. all of them. Yeah. They're acting right. one way, you know. And uh, Richard said, I want you to come out in my house and 
have some chicken mm -hmm. so uh, on Saturday. Right. So I go on out there, and they did have chicken out by the pool, but Richard wasn't there, and there's just a bunch of other nobody people. I went wandering around <laughs> his estate yeah. right, looking for Richard, and I, I thought he's going to be somewhere doing drugs. Uh -huh. And uh, so I found him up in his office. Now, he's got a boxing ring out there. You know, he mm -hmm. liked to do that. Right. I found him up there, and he's sitting around table with about five guys, mm -hmm. and he's cutting the coke on the desk, but every so often he'd get out an envelope, and he'd tell one of them to come around. Yeah. And then he'd squeeze it out of the envelope, the check, so they could see the amount. Right. Right. See, and then he'd see their eyes, and then he'd put her back <laughs> down in there, and he'd hand that to him. That was a lot of fun. And uh, so anyway, yeah, we snorted some coke, and I found him. Damn. He was a lot of fun. He's one of the realest persons I met in show mm. business. Uh, I don't like most of the people right. I've met in show business. <laughs> right. I'll tell you right now. Yeah. And because uh, I don't know, they're just screwed up. They got their head up their butt. Yeah. And, uh, they're ones fake, we and I I can't handle them. I'm a Midwestern person. I work between L.A. and New York. Right. Uh, you can be out here and impress everybody at the improv mm, exactly. and this that and the other, <laughs> and uh, and that ain't real. Yeah. And they wonder in this town why their shows don't get good numbers it's because they don't know who they're playing it for they right. they got the shows doing, for so new right. york and la and it ain't working anywhere else and that's where i am okay i'm in oklahoma next week okay and and uh i'll tell jokes about texas because they don't like texas and oklahoma and when i'm in texas i tell jokes about oklahoma right, <laughs> right, right, right. i know this country better than these politicians that run around only when they want your vote and then don't know nothing about you yeah. later on and then they Right, you get bought out by some uh, lobbyist, yeah, right. and uh, I'm much better than these politicians. And they're poor public speakers too. They yeah, don't one of the them can talk right. That idiot governor of Texas, uh, you know, he got on that show, uh, that uh, lecture that they had. What do they call it? Where they compete with each other, but they really don't debate. Uh, debate. debate. Yeah, yeah. Well, they don't really debate. Everybody say, well, that's an idiot. And sure enough, <laughs> well, I mean, my question here to you is: over your extensive forty-year career, have you ever been invited to the White House? In any administration well i'm probably not gonna go <laughs> <laughs> on this one <laughs> on this one because i got some good obama jokes uh, let's hear about four or five of them. <laughs> well i say that america don't make a full commitment to anything okay. we we end, we get in a war without it being a declared war yeah. we got a truck that's half a car we got socks that don't go all the way up your leg <laughs> everything's a spoon fork it's kind of this and kind of that right. Because we don't want to take a full commitment to anything. Right. And everybody said, well, it'd be nice to have a black guy for a president, but not a whole one. <laughs> hey, hey, don't move. Give everybody information. How can they follow you? How can they find out where you're going to be at next? Well, you just Google my name. You go to my mm. website and see my duck poem and call uh, Michelle and ask her, uh, you know, to use it. So do that. He's going to be on tour. He's still on tour. He takes his son with him. And uh, ladies, if you like tea and... Uh, uh, for, a sitar? Sitar. That's your man down there. It's a, it's the Rollout Show. We'll be right back. It's the top of the hour, y'all. Roll out. Say what? Roll, Roll out. out. Say what? Roll, Roll out. out. Up to my bed. Roll, Roll out. out. Get out the house. Roll, Roll out. Get a job. Roll out. You stink. Roll out. Push tea. Roll out. Don't get shot. <laughs> 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 Say that. Oh, Bro, I'm, don't get shot. We on the west side. Yeah. Nice and bomby outside. California. I think it's 62. Close high. Mm, Say yeah. what? New Del High. Where? Close high. Stop it. <laughs> In the city. City of where? Pico Rivera. <laughs> ah. Where? Lake Elsinore. In the city Party over there too, man City, city of, of Compton. Compton Yeah We keep it rocking I want to do this I want to welcome everybody welcome everybody To the Wild Wild West One, two, three Whoa. Kick it Do you really have to count like a cheerleader? <laughs> Ready? Okay <laughs> You a Laker girl, motherfucker? <laughs> I'm sorry Count it off, Speedy <laughs> Count it off Every time you do that, you sound like a girl from New Jack City. <laughs> Step off, Grandpa! <laughs> <laughs>
It's the Rollout Show right here on the Fox Show. It's the funniest four hours of your life. Yeah. What you do with the next 20 is on you. Mm-hmm. But I'm pretty sure you can't beat this folk. It's Speedy and Friends and I'll be Speedy. In the building we got. Live from New Delhi is me, the one and only cool guy, Pete. From Philly. Yeah, yeah. He said New Delhi. Why are you trying to change it? <laughs> you just like the police. You just going to make up a story with a man giving you the actual facts. Mm-hmm. See, that's how it all starts. Thank you, Teeter. Too soon. Too soon. No, it ain't. Man. Appreciate it, Pimp. In the building. Representing D.C. Yes. Hold up. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, Mark Howard. Uh, 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 One more time, uh, yeah. let me know if you could take your DJ ass cool as shit. Up. Wait a minute. Uh, 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 uh. You act like you knew it. Uh, uh, shit. Uh, uh, that dude has no rhythm. His <laughs> <laughs> ears do, though. His ears got rhythm. Hilarious. I knew everybody from DC. You don't know him. Yes, I did. So he'll see you and go, oh, yeah, Mark Howard. Nope. All right. Nigga. But I knew him. I didn't say he knew me. Oh, okay, Mama. See? In the no, building, representing the uh, south side of Los Angeles. The west side, Speedy. Okay, my bad. The west side of Los Angeles. Southwest. Tyron Turner. I'm in love with yeah. you. Yeah. He's so chill. Hey. <laughs> I have another name for it. Yeah. Chill. Nigga, I'm not sleeping. I'm in love with you. See how guilty you are? I'm not guilty. Love your afro, nigga. Thank guacamole. You. Y'all got guacamole. Talk to uh, Richard Roundtree. He showed me how to do it. I learned. <laughs> in the building, representing Crenshaw High School. West Side. Yeah. Show your love for TDP. Yo, Andrew Blocks, give me a light. Thank you, DJ Always. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good mid-morning, good mid-morning to all those around the world. Rastafari Selassie, it's your body, it's Yada. It's TDP, Mr. One, Two, Three, Knox. Baby, stand at the top of the comedy castle, wait for the next topic to tackle. What did you say? Don't worry about what I said. People around the world know what I said. Boy, I'm connected, punk. Hey, make sure you're hitting us up on our social media. It's Speedy and Friends on Earth, thing. That's Speedy, the letter N, Friends on Earth, thing. Yeah. And if you want to chat with us on our... Um, Speedyandfriends.net, we got the live chat room popping. Yeah. Is it popping for real? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> An honest answer. <laughs> you can go there and uh, get t-shirts, uh, hoodies, find out what we're doing next. We are going to be at the Black Bike. Bike Weekend Ooh. down in South Get Carolina. Black Bike Weekend. You mix with vampire. Huh? Blood, blood, blood. <laughs> <laughs> and two comedy shows, Friday and Saturday. Uh, everyone will be on. Well, we don't know if TDP is going to be there. Apparently, Dy- Dykes with Bikes told Tita they will be there to see him. Yeah, they said they was riding out this. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I seen bikes. him at the light. How gave many? How deep were some love. Ooh, about nine. Uh, they was on both sides of the car. Revving up their edges, trying to hurt my little ears. <laughs> Bless their hearts. So, ha- yeah. Mostly at Harley's. Yeah, they had the hogs. They had dogs. One girl had a proper ass Indian though. Indian's powder, a nice motorcycle. Powder motorcycle. pink and white. It was. I thought that was your bike. No, nah, it was. I wish it was. That was <laughs> nice. Uh, nice Indian. So definitely hit us up on that, and don't forget we'll be in Palm Springs. Uh, mm-hmm. We're gonna be. That's gonna be bananas. So you, you, you want to take oh, a vacation? Be food, and do that. huh? <laughs> I would be eating bananas I mean it's gonna be bananas <laughs> <laughs> On the wheels of steel we got DJ always always in your ears And in the Philippines uh, DJ Albino 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 Now we still in the Weird Conta News Weirdy Weirdy <laughs> Hold on, don't hit me in my face. Uh oh, what you got there, dude? No shit. Boxing bout stopped after fighter's phone falls out of his <laughs> truck. <laughs> during <laughs> during mid fight. Wait, a minute, I thought they check your shorts and <laughs> check your glove. Speedy, the boy got a new fight. girlfriend. Where you at? I told you I got a fight tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, you better talk to me all the way up until the goddamn when you get in the ring. <laughs> and tell me what he doing to you. I want to hear the bells and all that. Right. Can you imagine yeah. that awkward moment? Uh, hold up. Not a 10 count, but you got to pick your phone up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so that. Marvin Jones, for some bizarre reason, felt the need to take his device into the ring with him. So I guess he took a nice little uppercut to the goddamn chin and his head. Head went to the sky and the phone went to the ground. <laughs> so the referee said, "What the mother <laughs> is going on here?" Was it a, is it an Apple Six? 
Because it's different. It was Apple 6. He got a little money. <laughs> what about all the sweat that got on? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right, Speedy? I mean, you know, just like you, his case broke on his phone. So <laughs> phone just fell to the damn ground. <laughs> A what selfie of your ass getting knocked out. What the fuck is going on in this world, man? So he only has uh, two career wins with five losses. You so think? <laughs> that was a bad situation. <laughs> so the second, seconds of the first round before it fell out into the canvas, you know, his, his waistband, his um, the waistband on his trunks was like, you know, you know what you know, be holding whatever. Yeah, because they, the they, they're tight. They're right, tight. right. So the referee had to adjust it, and that's how the the phone. <laughs> 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 that was a bad call. You have no more minutes. <laughs> so that was a bad call. <laughs> <laughs> God so damn. my man kept hitting him in his shorts and kept calling his girlfriend. <laughs> 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 Why you keep hanging up on me? I'm trying to reach you. <laughs> Bitch, I'm fighting right now. A whole new pocket call right there. <laughs> what is the fucking world coming to? And they had it on video too. Yeah. Pocket yeah. call. And then he showed the phone on the ground as he, hold up, homie, don't hit me yet. I got to get this phone. <laughs> How you going to pick the phone up with the gloves on? <laughs> if you the trainer, man, what you think? It's a nigga. You really don't want to do this shit. You, don't you, fight, you ain't dude. focused at all. <laughs> <laughs> so it didn't get much better because Jones went on to be knocked out. By his opponent. You think? Of course. So, you yeah. think? Ain't no way in the world you gonna whoop my ass and you bought a phone in the ring with right, me. Right, right, right. Shit, well, game brought one with him when he had a fight with 40 o'clock. Maybe that's a new, <laughs> maybe maybe that's that's new, new shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> sleeping on game. Yeah. No pun intended. Right. right, right, right. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? All right, I got a story. A woman takes a poo in a busy hospital count on the counter mm -hmm. and then walks away. Cash to us, he tried to. She took a poo? She, she took a shit. Oh. Yeah. She and, tried uh, to say it nicely. She tried, yeah. The number two. Say poo, yeah. <laughs> and uh, she concealed what she was doing or she had long clothing, like a long uh, gown on. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I guess she had to go to the bathroom and she got... <laughs> Really? <laughs> Clear. <laughs> they said that hospital food go right through you. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, the four ounce apple juices ain't no joke. <laughs> so as the people were leaving or walking through the hospital, a couple noticed a uh, steaming pile of <laughs> basically on the floor. <laughs> wow. Sandy wipes stacked. <laughs> so, as the doctor was coming around the corner, uh -huh. nurse! <laughs> There's a baby in the hallway. Oh, that's not a baby. That's a black baby. <laughs> it's sitting up. <laughs> See, that baby likes a lot of corn. <laughs> so, sitting up. <laughs> Man. It's like, oh, is the bathroom being clean? <laughs> well, how do you just go? You know, I ain't gonna make it. Yeah, good for her. At least she's a boo boo in her room. I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna do this right <laughs> now. Yeah. She offered a stool sample. <laughs> All right. I didn't and have a cup. Ran, and they ran out of cups. That's Ooh, how I shit. Damn, that's T deep. Tina, you've done this before. You've had oh, to take Not in the hospital. <laughs> but you had to take quick shit. Man. I went to Toto's, ate, coming around. I was on Venice, and all of a sudden, it said. You should have lied before. T turn. T <laughs> my conscience said, You got a boo boo right now. <laughs> and I answered my conscience. I said, I got a boo boo right now. He said, You got a boo boo right now. On your conscience. Oh, hit the little corner right there. Oh, then the man was walking his dog, then the lady walking their dog. So I had to go down a little bit more. Then, you know, you get the little turtle head right there. <laughs> <laughs> so I, think I just I just jammed the car in park <laughs> Open the door went on the grass <laughs> You slid your ass out the car? Yeah Just your ass I, Yeah cause I had to bag out Cause you know the turtle you head was already paper? coming <laughs> No, nah, I had to use my goddamn um, What was that? I had, some, I had some Oregon duck shorts on that day I, used his drawers. <laughs> I had to wipe with the duck right now <laughs> yeah, that was that, Man, was, that, was, no, that was serious. Dude, I'm out on a date with this honey. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> <laughs> Myron. So, so me and Johnson. You was out with Johnson. <laughs> me and the girl walking. Yeah, I, I got oh, shit. Johnson. Well, I tell you, I got shit bad. Okay. I got shit bad. 
Okay. And I said, well, just go to the car. <laughs> I left something in, in the thing. So I figured I'd go back to the to the restaurant. I, I wasn't going to make it. So they had a party party. It was right there. Nigga, I don't even think I got the door open. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, fuck, I tried to get Now you know The porter party Is nasty oh, than a, yeah. a motherfucker right. So I'm trying to Lay paper down Nigga my ass Is down <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, We can't wait that for that for Homie yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you Doing that for <laughs> Nigga my motherfucker Underwear was set I said God damn <laughs> So I took off All my clothes Nigga Right right for that one side? It, the, one, the one side got the boo boo in it. Oh. The left side of the leg is done. Oh. So, nigga, I take my jeans off. I take the underwear, wipe everything down. Okay. And you got the, you on the date still? I'm on the, she oh, in so, the car. She's oh, waiting so, on me. So, it's all bad right now. It's you got to figure it all out. So, nigga, I didn't know you had a polo socks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I had to leave the one sock. Okay. So, I got lead aside underwear. I ain't even shit in the thing. Right, right, right. Never got to that. Right. It's in the underwear. Mm-hmm. Well, sock, <laughs> leg. How did you get this together, Speedy? Because all the toilet paper, because the toilet paper that was in there and the sanit- whatever the right, shit right. was, nigga, Sanitary. that was my wipe down. So I'm in there wiping, put a little water on, wipe, wipe, wipe. Mm-hmm. I said, still smell like boo-boo. Okay. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't got no cologne. I ain't got no spray. So, nigga, I'm... You smell like all man. <laughs> <laughs> smell like pheromones. All man. Doodoo <laughs> <laughs> by Fabergé. <laughs> Fubu. <laughs> Fubu. Fubu. <laughs> nigga, she's like, what took you so long? Oh, God. I was doing the running man. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the smell together, sweet, or halfway? Or? I don't know. I left the window down the whole time in the car. Okay. I said, no, nah, let me let this window down. Because mm-hmm. I couldn't. I, I, I don't think I did. She's like, what you about to do? Go home. Mm-hmm. You don't want to come? No. Mm-hmm. No, it ain't, ain't sexy right now. Nigga, I probably got shit on my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you never had that tea turn? Do what? You yeah. never been on a slouser bus going to the Fox Hill Bar <laughs> and get down by... Uh, <laughs> You get down there by La Brea, you got a boo boo, you know, you got 900 more stops before nigga, you get to the mall. Nigga, I just think, I just put everything in my throat, nigga. I just. <laughs> <laughs> so, in other words, you hold the boo boo. You hold the boo boo. Nigga, you just, just, nigga, just relax. Yeah. <laughs> I tried. I nigga. am boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be the boo boo. <laughs> the boo boo be you. So, you, you ain't never had that. You ain't never, never had got the bubble guts. Close. It's never really the sides. Uh, Ain't that close? It's well, been lucky. When I was a kid. Oh, okay. You fucked up cheeks. Nah, nigga. I just used to just shit behind houses. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all be shitting my greens. <laughs> that, that's 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 that boy time and shit right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's grown man shit. Cause grown man shit don't shit like a dog. It's like nigga, no, nah, they ain't coming on. That's dog. human. That's funny. <laughs> you see Tyron and Men's Society. I know that boy. He shit, he shit behind my house. <laughs> <laughs> Never happened to you work. Happened to me one time in college, man. And I used to. I was at the Union. And there was a good bathroom there. The shit was fucked up. No toilet paper. Oh, shit. And I had to walk to my dorm. Mm. There's a couple of spots I knew it was good. I used to find little quiet, cozy spots to do my business. Yeah. It's like the shit gods was against me. <laughs> like, you're going to have to work this out. And I'm talking about where I had to just go. And you clenching your ass. Nigga, my... Yeah, you got a big old ass. Cheeks were strong. Please stop. He wow. said it. Stop. He said he got a big ass. You're not in jail anymore. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Hey, boy. <laughs> Chicks got strong in the motherfucker holding that stuff in, man. And I had these green sweats I got from Benetton. Mm, mm, the green mm. and brown ones. <laughs> <laughs> they, became, they became earth colors. <laughs> <laughs> but the part about it, when you sit somewhere and you got to walk and you trying to walk like you ain't got to take a shit. Yeah, you, got, yeah. you just can't even bend your knee. You can't even bend your knee, nigga. Everything just... Right, right, right. And that's when somebody go, hey! No, no, no. Not, 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 not. But you're doing it anyway, but you've convinced yourself. I'm going to make it. I'm walking good. Don't yeah. nobody notice. Yeah. And nobody said nothing. Do you come back out? He can bark. You had to take a shit there. <laughs> in the worst kind you of You ever take a shit in a handicap thing and, and the dude show up? <laughs> You did? <laughs> Nigga. Take it the shit you hear a squeaky wheel. <laughs> and, said, and he went, who there? I said, oh, this ain't good. <laughs> I said, I did that. 
Yeah, he waited twenty. I, I, I said I can't just walk out this mall. Like you mm-hmm. limped. <laughs> <laughs> I just made no eye contact with him. I was like, uh, sorry. <laughs> Damn, your boo boo is handicapped. <laughs> <laughs> you need to spray it. I don't know what is the handicap. Got rails everywhere, and you can just oh yeah, How, break it's yourself. Roomy? Yeah, mm-hmm. I take a pants leg out and just throw my leg. Out. <laughs> this is how old we are because we come when the handicap shit was first being used when they started putting them shit in every yeah, bathroom. Yeah. And originally, for the first few years, people wouldn't fuck with them because it's like, don't go in there. You ain't yeah, supposed fuck to. Fuck shit. And you realize, nigga, this is the cleanest <laughs> shit. <in> the- <laughs> well, right. shit, you got one in the car. I- huh? Niggas be having handicap stickers in the cars, so can you just Wait. take that and come in the? I mean, <laughs> you can't you can't take your handicap sticker to the back, bro. <laughs> Walk tired this Why not? Why not? It's, 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 it's an honor system. It's trust that you won't. What you gonna do? Hang it on the coat hanger? <laughs> <with that? laughs> hang it around your neck? Yeah. yeah. What's the <laughs> eye of a handicapped person coming in and have to take a? Sh- and that's what I thought. Tyra. <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> I know that was you tell her. Ding ding. Who is that bathroom? Cause my thing is this Me? It, It's a $400 fine If you park in the handicap right? right Yeah What's the fine If they park in the regular shit Oh uh, If they park in our spot Yeah Oh uh, Ain't no fine Ain't no fine Should Not be. fair The like, double standard I thought he was gonna ask What's the fine for shitting in the handicap <laughs> If you ain't $400 for <laughs> 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 Who writing that ticket They want that, that, that money man <laughs> <laughs> Hey when you come out Need to sign something That's fucked up No but I had a situation Where I was going to the <laughs> supermarket Uh and I was cool, but you know I had like a like a two minute grace period where I yeah. could get there, but they was cleaning the men's bathroom. Ooh, so it was out of order. Ooh, so now I'm in the panic zone. So I just go into the countdown. Lady, I just go into the ladies' bathroom. No, you didn't. I said so. If a lady come in, I'm gonna say, "Excuse me, I'm a guy here. I gotta, I gotta let them know." <laughs> lady, that. dude. She's like, "Oh my god, how could you just be in the ladies' bathroom?" I'm like, look, honey, Shit they happens. fix it in the man's bathroom. <laughs> I had to go. Okay, well, don't look. <laughs> now, my favorite store is Marshall. Their bathroom is a banging. Only problem is you have to get buzzed. You have to buzz one of them to come back and press the code. Damn. Nigga, I go back there, and I got that two-minute mm-hmm. window, and I buzz waiting for the lady to come. This bitch like, yes. I'm like, the bathroom? Bathroom? Okay, I don't remember what the code is. Bitch, you know the code? He's <laughs> <laughs> playing this one, two, three, four. Doo doo brown. Could you, could, Speedy, could you imagine going to court because you're in the handicap stall and they're giving you tickets and you have to, and they, and they say, Ronald Caldwell, uh, shitting in the handicap, uh, how do you plead? <laughs> Uh, uh, how do I plead? Extenuating circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> Fox Hill Radio. Do do or do you? <laughs> Swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Yo, we are back. It is Speedy and Friends. Is that the yes. Boo Boo song? What is that? <laughs> 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 it's the World Out Show right here on Fox Hill. <laughs> Yeah. I got a turtle head poking out. <laughs> no, whenever. I love the smell of diarrhea in the morning. <laughs> On uh, Austin Power, when he drank the, 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 the shit, he said it's a little nutty. Uh, I, I fell out. I thought I, I couldn't take it, though. I ran out of the theater. This coffee tastes like shit. <laughs> That's because it is shit, Austin. Oh, okay. <laughs> tastes sort of nutty. <laughs> <laughs> It's Fox O Radio. So they went there. In the lair. <laughs> Kicking it with us in the lair. That's what we call it right mm-hmm. here. We got Michael Mosley Hi. in the building. Mosley. How you doing? Iowa's hey. on. Iowa. Yeah, yes, just, that's right. It's kind of teasing about the Iowa thing. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing these days, man? What's going on? Man? Uh, I'm hanging out with you guys. Yeah. 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 We, Unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. That's you like, I got one more show to do. Okay. <laughs> nothing else to do, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get one more in for you. <laughs> now, born and raised in Iowa? Yes. What yeah. What city? Yeah. Uh, Waterloo, Iowa. Waterloo. Waterloo. Waterloo, Iowa's got, uh, we've got John Deere. Yeah, and we've got uh, the Five Sullivan Brothers Center. Five Sullivan Brothers came from my town. They were the the basis of um, the uh, what's the 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 uh, sure. Steven Spielberg movie with the, the Saving Private Ryan. Oh, oh the Five oh, Brothers, yeah. the Five oh. Brothers. That was yeah. That's, that's it. right. That's, that's what we got. <laughs> we got that. We got Field of Dreams. You know, all kinds of right, shit. Crazy shit. It's, yeah. a, it's y'all got any brothers? 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple. Yeah. <laughs> Charles and Willie. <laughs> we got one brother. <laughs> so wait a minute, uh, Mike. When you go to vote, who's on the ticket in Iowa? When, when you go to vote, when we go to vote, who's on the ticket? Yeah, well, I don't vote. Who, who, Iowa. You, who you represent? Who, who does Iowa represent? Who does Iowa represent? What are some names that's on the ballot in Iowa? Names on the ballot. What do you mean? You mentioned off air. <laughs> you mean like? Uh, well, I mean, Iowa voted for uh, Barack Obama and Mike Huckabee. Okay, those yeah, are two choices. Those, yeah, were, those, those were, were the two guys. So that's kind of the swing in Iowa. It's like you're either like on a university. You know, there, Iowa was like the first uh, state to like, uh, uh, you know, legalize uh, gay marriage. Oh, but, you know, shit, but it's always it. like it's you know, so it's, it's either you're like either in a field, you know, like on a farm, you know, or you're like on like a university, or right. you're like you know, like so it's yeah, it's it's quite a. And you were mostly with university farm. We were in like a university town but my dad worked for john deere my mom was a teacher oh okay oh yeah so you had to farm in the university field. a little bit yeah okay. yeah it's not far from the farm you're never far from the farm you wherever can, you you're can milk a cow no no <laughs> I, I actually felt one of them t- the motherfuckers no, they ain't soft it's an udder you felt one of those yeah things? they not soft Why would you that, wasn't, yeah. that wasn't the udder speed <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that wasn't a cow <laughs> that wasn't a cow that was a man baby that was a bull baby <laughs> this boy show likes me <laughs> why you wanna choke on something <laughs> <laughs> hi Mr. Angus hey he just set himself up for this shit <laughs> you grabbing on dick. <laughs> so, as I'm about to tell the story, I went, you know what? <laughs> I really walked into this <laughs> For real. I really did. Try. What made you want to do that? No, because I, I never... <laughs> Remember what? You never held something outside of yourself? I'm just trying to figure out. <laughs> See if I can make this cow come. <laughs> come up with some milk. <laughs> Sweetie is jacking off cows. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> little half for you. <laughs> Sorry, Show man. Show his stomach. What? <laughs> no wonder you voted for gay marriage. <laughs> makes sense now. I was in Iowa. <laughs> so what else am I do? Oh, See, the huck could be a gay marriage <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, so you never milked a cow no i've never milked a cow <laughs> no no well, somebody no. got a roll with me on no, this shit. Mike, michael you knew not to fall for that bullshit right? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> absolutely he was like no no i'm not touching that fucking thing. <laughs> Let it go, and i'm not gonna play one on tv <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I was speedy. Let it go, man. So, Michael, you're on the, uh, <laughs> the USA comedy series Sirens. Yes. Second season. That's right. Second season. How was that process? It's fantastic. It's, okay. you know, we're like, we play these three EMTs and we run around telling dick jokes and then every once in a while we <laughs> jump on somebody's chest and try to restart their heart and then we go back to telling dick jokes. Wow. Yeah, because okay. it's the black guy on there. So yeah. And he's gay. Yeah. Yeah, I thought yeah. when I saw the... The character's uh, gay? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. character's gay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, character's gay. Yeah, the character. <laughs> so whenever they need to milk a bull, he's the one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So he knows all about milking cows. Uh, yeah, he knows all. It's like, yeah, he's a, he's a pro. <laughs> Got some inspired to speed. I'm just happy Speed didn't go there and start getting the milk out of his mouth. <laughs> Ain't you supposed to suck it out? <laughs> yeah, this ain't 2% either. <laughs> Homogenized. <laughs> yeah. See what I go through here, Mike. Yeah. Michael, yeah. you didn't know this was the kind of show did. It. It's thicker here. when you get it fresh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mike, being an EMT, how much did you have to research with that? No, uh, we, we drove around with some EMTs a little okay. bit. Yeah, yeah. We, we went out with some Chicago EMTs and uh, firefighters. And, and stuff and uh, yeah you know it's a lot of uh, you know some of it's like I think it's like a, a lot of taxi service you know okay. it's like a, an old guy that's in the basement and he's not feeling well and they come in they're like hey how you doing have you been drinking maybe a little you know okay you know you're stump, you know now mm-hmm. you're hurt so then they just you know you know shuffle somebody from a you know but then every once in a while it's you know the worst day of somebody's life and well deal you know it's the real thing and, and you guys are try- you have jokes that go in there uh do you get a chance to ad lib all the time oh you do okay cool, yeah cool. our our creators are dennis leary and bob fisher mm-hmm. bob fisher oh, wrote uh wedding crashers yeah. and we're mm-hmm. the millers and stuff and yeah so we do a couple according to hoyle and then we 
fart around. Oh, you know? yeah. Right. No right. pun intended. We already. Yeah. <laughs> Comedy been in your background a bit or, or just just straight acting? Uh, mostly acting, but I like the, com- you know, the comedy stuff is, is a blast, you know. Did okay. Scrubs for a little while. Right, uh, right. You know, uh, yeah. I mean, that's my favorite. But I'm not, you know, like y'all are like, probably stand in front of a crowd with a microphone and like yeah, actually so. like, cra- you know, I don't, I just, somebody told me what right. to say and where to stand and right, that's right. that's hey, how I do it. Another actor over here. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Tyron. From Tyron Darn. He's a thespian. Menace Society. Okay. All the stage good. play. <laughs> <laughs> the musical. <laughs> On ice. <laughs> the book of blood. <laughs> With that far out thou, Chris. <laughs> Mark, this I got an IMDb. Oh, I have one too. I looked yeah. me up. <laughs> That's not a good comeback. I'll go ahead and uh, freeze your mic. Girl, oh, stop mm. it. <laughs> <laughs> Funny shit. Uh, now, do you want to do uh, like serious drama stuff, or you, it doesn't matter? Sure, man. You, yeah. yeah, you got a script. What is, oh. Yeah, what does it pay? <laughs> well, yeah, let me know. No, because yeah, I'll be there. You know, people get into certain uh, certain lane. Like, nah, fuck that. I like doing the comedy. Uh, no, right. I love it all. You know, I just okay. kind of like the whole storytelling, campfires, the storytelling aspect yeah. of what we do. And uh, if it's on a stage, or if it's to crack somebody up, or if it's. You know, whatever. I, I see you when those, jump out of an airplane or those something. teen movies where everybody get killed, but you, you and really? the girl, you and the girl of like, let's go this way, and she goes, no, I'm gonna go that way. You're like, then you should follow her. <laughs> they never kill her. Ass. Yeah, <laughs> you fuck around, and go, no, I'm gonna get the car. <laughs> all right, all right. Now you're in the front seat with a spear in your forehead. <laughs> I hate thing. that. Yeah. You, oh. I talk to the movie. Bitch, go the other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I'm that dude. He's behind you. <laughs> He's behind you. Turn around. Don't you hear the music? <laughs> Speaking of film, <laughs> the music. Because <laughs> I heard it. Didn't. How the fuck you don't hear this? Yeah. Go ahead, Mark. Speaking of films, I see you have a film coming up uh, opposite Reese Witherspoon and. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sophia uh, Vergara That's uh, right. from MGM, uh, Hot Pursuit coming out. Yes, in May. Hot oh, Pursuit. Be nice. You yeah, excited, you excited about that? I am excited about that. It's like a, kind of like a buddy comedy action comedy thing, and Reese is this kind of desk cop, and mm. uh, Sophia um, plays this uh, uh, like drug cartel's wife, and they end up kind of you know handcuffed and running through Texas, and I play this bad cop who's kind of chasing them. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was fun. We shot in New Orleans and and for like two and a half months, and it was a blast. It was a lot of fun. I'm excited for How's, it. How's uh, Reese? Is she cool? She's such an asshole. Oh, <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, if she doesn't get her room temperature, cucumber water, <laughs> you know, Hilarious. and her Uggs. She only acts in Uggs. Uggs. <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, it's just a nightmare. Exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> Send this to TMZ. <laughs> <laughs> she's no, she's she's a sweet. Uh, she's out. She's a sweet as hell. Like, yeah, they really be at great. the airport waiting on you. Uh, Mike, those <laughs> hey, ice man. You know, yeah. you said you said, dude. Switzerland. Yeah. I said, Tim said, no, she's really wonderful. Tim <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so is weird because they catch motherfuckers at the airport and go, hey, you guy. Yeah. Remember what you said? Yeah, yeah, What's yeah. Happening? And then you're like, no, I'm just trying to get a bag, man. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, I got right. my daughter with me. <laughs> so during the filming in New Orleans, how was the temperature? Were you in? It was hot. Hot. Yeah. <laughs> we were in the summer. You never got used to it? Yeah. I love New Orleans. New Orleans is one of my favorite places in the world. I've uh-huh. been down there for like Mardi Gras and, and like okay. the other times and stuff like that. But yeah, in the summer, man, it don't, mm-hmm. it don't fuck you, around. Did you summer. knock any honeys now? Did you get some? Did I get some honeys? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, Sophia and I have, like, uh, <laughs> as well, listen, it's water. Yeah, I don't want to, you know, this, I know she's kind of running around with Joe, uh, what's his name, Joe, uh, the wolf, the wolf man from the show, Joe Mantello. Uh, yeah, but anyway, yeah, so Sophia guy. and I, yeah, we had a little. That's cool. Hmm. I think we have a child. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> she doesn't know about it. It's in my hand. It's going to grow up one day. <laughs> you find out when child support yeah. calls you. Uh-uh. Let's just have a say uh, she knows how to milk a cow. You'll be here all week. Wow. <laughs> BD got competition. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking oh, that really happened. Ty, Ty, I know you. See, you I've mean, never, we I've city never, I've never milked no cow. We city no cow. I hear what you're saying. I ain't never. No, I'm not. TDP, t- you, huh? What? No. You've never been on the farm. I'm speeding. I'm not milking it's no cow. That's not what you. I do. I know you've been in the city all your life. I've been around, but I've never wanted to even milk a cow. I never even wanted to do something <laughs> like that. you got to have those kind of thoughts to want to do something like that, Speedy. You ever milk a uh, Rottweiler? I've done nothing like that. <laughs> <laughs> I've done nothing. See, see what I'm saying, T.D.? I understand. I understand. Speed. 
D- <laughs> Speedy, it's okay. You can come out right now. I'm still, you still my nigga regardless. I'm gonna go to Iowa. It don't matter. <laughs> it's cool in Iowa. Wow. <laughs> you see, now you see the truth coming out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, yeah. Uh, doing the acting, uh, you thought about doing stand up or oh, would you ever shit. think? Shit. No, comedy? I couldn't. No. I would, yeah, yeah. That, you're in that lane, so yeah. yeah. I look. I mean, I love it. I just, I love it, but yeah. I could. No, I've never tried it. No, I don't know. Give it yeah. a try. Maybe Fuck I'll that. go up there and just yeah sweat for or sing two or, minutes or whatever okay. it is you know but uh, no <laughs> couldn't I don't think so. So what are you, are you doing the Hollywood thing? Are you staying out to four o'clock in the morning with hot chicks and waking up at yeah you know, totally. ten to get to totally that's you exactly do? what it's okay. like. Yeah, it's just do it like, while you're young. <laughs> more, just like, <laughs> you're always at the club and just yeah, just, just like you yeah, it's just like, like yeah. It's I hope just y'all a, ain't no, in trouble. God, no. I'm gonna sound like an asshole. No, not at all. <laughs> no, no, you gotta wait for somebody <laughs> to notice. You gotta, you gotta post up. They already said, "Cool, is that Michael?" It was that. You yeah, know, I played the doctor. <laughs> Michael Bosley <laughs> over here. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's a little like that. Yeah, <laughs> bottle service. Right, you know. right, right. Yeah, the girls come out with the sparklers. Yeah, you know, and the yeah, it's exact. Yeah, it's nice. Pretty wow. wow. So when so when you go home to Iowa, mm-hmm. how do they treat you there? Is it special that way? Just get get back to work. Get back on the farm. <laughs> Just get, get under that cow. Get some milk, man. <laughs> Family keep it real with you, yeah. say, You know, I don't give a damn about that damn TV yeah. show. Can you can you milk this cow? Boy? I need another hand. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look, they never say his whole name. Hey, Mike, come Mike. on in here, man. Shit. <laughs> the hell's this Michael? Yeah, exactly. It's done Hollywood on shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll spell the whole name out. All right, Hollywood, get under that udder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's Grab good, you a titty there, boy. Show <laughs> that Mike cow what you really build them. Yeah. <laughs> fucking hilarious. Now, how's it working with the rest of the guys on the show? Are they cool? Or? Everybody's cool. These that's guys cool. are like my buddies. Like, that's, you know, I love the show and I love, like, that we get to do it, but you know, I also just kind of want to keep going to work with these guys. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's like such a huge part of it. That's like cool. I, we, you know, they're my friends, and you know, we crack up and we have a good time. <laughs> Sweet, kind of like we do here. We, nah, you guys shit. don't have any fun. I can yeah, tell. This, nah, man, we bullshit. Boring. I hate this one, <laughs> I wish I would here. We do this raggedy ass shit. <laughs> now, in your iPod or your 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 phone when you got to go work out, what are you listening to? Oh shit, man. Listening to uh, Celine Dion, yeah, yeah. Lil Wayne, <laughs> Celine. Dion. I like Lil Wayne. Uh, uh, yeah, I, fuck man. A duet of uh, Lil Wayne and Celine Dion. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Is that, is that, do they have that? <laughs> God, God, Kanye, Kanye did with Paul McCartney. Why? I know. <laughs> Who's Paul McCartney? Wasn't that the thing? I Wasn't couldn't that the hear. Thing? I couldn't hear Paul's voice in that song. I haven't heard. No, the one with uh, um, Kanye. With Kanye. Yeah, I didn't hear. No, I didn't remember. I guess he did the guitar. He just played the instrument. Yeah, because I didn't hear his voice in it. No, <laughs> I'm not going to But they always go as Paul McCartney and... Oh. McCartney just played guitar in that, yeah. in that track? Yeah. yeah I so yeah. anybody could have played, and they just said, <laughs> Paul played. Yeah. Does he play different. differently than somebody yes, else? What does. the fuck? He plays like a beetle. Yeah. <laughs> he plays like a beetle. <laughs> right, Kanye. Yes. I'll do it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want like- me to sing? No, don't sing. Just play guitar. <laughs> okay, good. Hilarious. Right. Money stays the same. <laughs> yeah. your name's on and so, so, Kanye, you mean that ass is real? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, killing this shit right now. Okay. It's Fox Old Radio. Michael Bosley in the building. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hot show on uh, on USA. 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 Yeah, USA. finale's yeah. next Tuesday, so hopefully everybody will check Now, how long that. does it take to uh, film, like, the one episode? Is it a week, a couple days? We shoot an episode in four days. Oh, we yeah. shoot, shit. yeah, we bang it out real quick. And, uh, yeah, like, move really fast. Dennis, when when we were, when he was doing Rescue Me out of here, when I be, was in New York and I mm-hmm. hear Teamsters talking about Rescue Me, they'd be like, oh, man, that's, you know, Dennis, man, Dennis. You know, he gets he gets the people out, you know, and so, you know, you know, people working 12 and a half hour days. You know, on TV shows, sometimes you're a 16-hour day. You know, you're yes, in a Saturday morning sometimes. Right, right. And, uh, yeah, so we move pretty quick, which is great. That's dope. Sweet. I like shooting in Four days? Mm-hmm. That's like a sitcom. Yeah, yeah, it's do, really quick. Because you get the, I used to do audience warm-ups, Jimmy <laughs> Fox show. Uh, <laughs> and so I'm they get, I think they can script on, if they shoot that Tuesday, they get the script that Wednesday, mm-hmm. and they're pretty much ready to rock and roll Monday morning. They've got to shoot, and that, that's pretty much the same thing. And yeah. then do you go right to the next one, or you yeah, take well, a couple Yeah, we have two episodes. Off? We do uh, blocks of two, so we're shooting two episodes at the same time. Oh, wow. So we'll shoot, I guess it's an eight-day block, four-day mm-hmm. episode. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, we're done, you know, 
but in like two and a half months, we've shot the whole season. Okay. No fucking way. Yeah. It's a good gig. So then I get the rest of the year, like, I don't know. Club what did we say? What did you, yeah, like, go to the club. <laughs> <laughs> Bottle service. Like, yeah. Fight the chicks off. Yeah. To yeah. that motherfucking tab cup. Yeah. It's Fox Old Radio, the rollout show. We'll be right back. Michael Mosley in the lair, kicking yes. it with us. We are back. Yep. It's the rollout show right here on the Fox O. It's Speedy and Friends and I'll be Speedy. In the building we got. Mark Howard, represent. In the building we got. Michael Mosley. In the building we got. Tyron Turner. In the building we got. <laughs> Only wheels and steels we got. DJ always, always in your ear. And in the Philippines, he's known as DJ Albino. DJ Albino. Albino. DJ Pacquiao. Pacquiao. DJ for the fight. <laughs> Who you got in the fight, Mike? Huh? Who you got in the fight? Pacquiao Mayweather. Oh, fuck. I don't know. <laughs> I don't fuck. I don't know. <laughs> well, who you guys got? I mean... Money Mayweather. Money here. Mayweather, yeah. yeah we got Money Mayweather? Yeah, Money Mayweather. He's going to win. He's, he's gonna win it. Yeah. He wouldn't have. He wouldn't have done it unless he knew he was gonna win know. it. Yeah, you, right. You, you, right, you got to know him. Yeah, yeah. and he wouldn't have, this long because they've been saying that forever, right? Yeah. Pacquiao Mayweather and and Mayweather just kept kept you know kind of like that. Back. I said and it then reminds Pacquiao me gets of uh, Sugar Ray Leonard and and Hagler because if Sugar fights Hagler in his prime, <laughs> it's not even. I, he waited, right? Waited, waited, right moment. I just feel like Mayweather got that seventy-two inch reach. And he's more technical. Now, Pacquiao was technical, and I'd be like, okay, it'd be a little better, but 72. Mm. He already got knocked out. Once yeah. you get knocked out, uh, I don't mean you can't I fight. I don't know about no, that. No, it just takes, it takes, make, it takes the glow off. Why do you think it does? Because okay. it, you've disagree. been knocked out. And I, if I haven't been knocked out and you have. Well, the dude that knocked mean? Pacquiao out, Mayweather destroyed. Convincingly, so it's like a question. I felt like Marquez knocked him out. It was a, it was not. It was like kind of luck. I, if we want to be honest, I just thought it was kind of lucky. I'm still, I, I still got Knock Mayweather it. though. Knock it out. Right. Now, are you yeah, going to go to Vegas for the fight? You, you know, you, you show your. Are you face. a Vegas guy, Mike? Are you a Vegas gotta guy? Be, I've been to Vegas. Yeah, I, Vegas is all right. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'm a Vegas guy. No, but yeah, Vegas is fantastic. No, I don't. Shit, I don't know. Can, no. Why do you got tickets? I don't know. I can, how do we get tickets to that? I not thought you happen. had tickets. Yeah, you, Mike, Mike doesn't sound like he's a fight guy you're not uh not really you just watch it or you're not big into it he said how i'm not yeah i like watching it you know i like watching okay. it, uh, you he know said, how we gonna get tickets to the biggest fight ever yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow look and oh, let me call dennis let me see <laughs> how hilarious see, i'm gonna go. text dennis right there now how many go. do we want <laughs> Five, <six. laughs> dennis is a sports guy i'm sure he, he should probably we need on. to be right there on the front row you know those <laughs> yeah. are like million dollar fucking tickets and, right uh, uh coming from iowa and uh, i was asking you off air the hot city. So if somebody hears this show and they go, I'm going to go to Iowa, and you had to tell them where to go. The nightlife the hot, in Iowa. The nightlife in like, Iowa. Like they're yeah. taking your advice where to go. There's no nightlife in Iowa. <laughs> Nothing? No. It's fun no. Is. They've it's got. One club. It's got a party till 10. Club. There was a place called Tony's that I used to bartend Tony's. At. Tony's. Get out of here. Yeah. Tony's. Hey. Iowa. Tony Tomilianovich. <laughs> ran it. He was this old, crusty old dude. Hilarious. And, uh, uh, yeah. Tell us the story, Mike. As yeah. soon as you walk in, hey, Mikey. It's, no, literally, not to be, you know, you'd say, Tony. He'd be like, Tony, man, what do you like? Because it was a pizza place. Yeah, Tony, yeah. what do you like on your pizza? And he'd go, literally, Tony would say, he's this old guy. And he'd yeah. just sit there and he'd go, little sausage, little pepperoni. And a little bit of pussy. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. A pussy pizza. Jesus, Tony, stop it. You're disgusting. You're freaking everybody out. <laughs> to a 12 year old kid. Yeah. Really? Tony, shut up. God dang, dude. You want a pussy but, uh, pizza, mommy? <laughs> want no pussy with cheese around. But there was like, yeah, there was like a, I was like 19 and I was like bartending at this club. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, because I was old, like, I was old enough. No, I was like 18. Okay. And I was bartending at this place. Yeah, and like, the, you know, 20 year olds. Come in, and I was like, let me see your ID. And they were like, let me see your ID. What am I? What do you want to drink? <laughs> yeah, it was Go, fun now, though. Now, I, yeah. Going back to your younger past, I saw also that you were in uh, stage plays and you worked as a uh, understudy for uh, George, Joseph uh, Gordon Levitt. That's right, I did. On Uncle Bob. That was like that one of my your... first gigs ever. Okay, okay. Yeah, it was like a two hander in New York. And uh, I was an understudy, and I just come in like half hour before, make sure Joseph was like okay. Yeah, right. And then one day, yeah, I come in, and Joseph's like, I can't talk, I have no voice. Yeah. And I was like, oh fuck. And then yeah, and they're like, oh Mike, yeah, you're going you on, bro. Do it. Shit, man. <laughs> yeah, it was just me and this other guy. And I was like, oh, you know. So I was like, you know, in the dressing room, like freaking out, calling like like my girlfriend at the time, and yeah, so yeah. So that was like, oh, she can help. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> these lines, babe, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go on. But yeah, I, that was I've done gig. stage. I like I like stage. Oh yeah, I like, I like that. Uh, that you can get out there and you just 
It's live. It, this is, I it just is. love stage. I thought it's like it's almost a little like church about it. There's like you know the people. Everybody's breathing the same oxygen. Everything's yeah. happening for the yeah. first time for everybody, yeah. and they're you know they're whatever, how, whatever energy they're giving you, it ends up going back, and it's yeah, it's like a different I'm, thing. Well, TV it. movies, you don't know if, if the joke's gonna hit or not. You know? <laughs> okay, <laughs> TV this, movie, okay. Castle, ABC, right. Castle. Tell us about that. How was that? Castle's experience? wild because I've done like. TV shows and stuff like that, but that Castle gig, man, people stop me in the mall for that thing. Oh, right. Nice. That's the one that they all point at. You know, they love okay. that that killer. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And I just, I don't know. I've been blown up and thrown off a bridge and shot, and right, I just right, keep right. coming back. Right, I can't. Right. You know, I'm hoping, I'm hoping they bring me back. I got shot again. I don't know. Maybe you know, the producers like, fuck it, we'll put you in the hospital with a heart monitor. We don't know. <laughs> you know, yeah. Uh, but it's fun. Yeah, you get to play. I get to play this like you know bad guy and. You know, kind of torment Nathan Fillion. So, like you say, you're at the mall. So, you ever getting your little cherry lemonade, hot dog on the stage? They go, "There's the killer right there." <laughs> a little bit, yeah. yeah sometimes, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. They That's just exactly freeze. Right. <laughs> exactly. Now, now, from that, what's the stupidest thing a fan may have said to you? Like thinking they're saying the right thing, would you be like, "Oh, okay." Uh, well, the 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 best one is they're like, "Wait," they like somebody knows you and they right. don't know why they know yeah, you, right? right and so right. they just sit there. They kind of want you to like. Explain to them <laughs> why they know you. Why they know you? <laughs> right. And you're just like trying to get your Starbucks or something, you know? And they're like, "No, you tell me what you've been in." And you're like, "I don't really, you know." No, tell me. And you're like, "I don't. Maybe uh, do you watch Sirens?" No. Okay. Um, <laughs> it happens every time. Uh, I don't know. Did you? Did you uh, cast? No, never seen it. And it's like, okay, so you're sitting here like an asshole, like t trying to. Ex Talk, tell them why they know. Yeah, that's right. the one that's always fun. I'm at the <laughs> comedy store, credits. and it's uh, the comedy's Tuesday nights, and it's a long line outside. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go in and see if I can get on the list, go up. So I'm walking past you. this girl is a dime piece. And she goes, Speedy. I'm like, yeah, I saw you on the Cosby's. Never been on the Cosby's. <laughs> and, and it's a gang of people around me, and I'm like, yeah, you know, we, I was just doing a little sound <laughs> bill. <laughs> She's like, you did. For you killed us. And people look at me like, Nick, Nick was on Cosby. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, man. Bill, you know, serving drinks up. Wow. We doing something. <laughs> wow. Me and really? Bill. <laughs> yes. You went all the way there for that? <laughs> wow. Had that. <laughs> but no, that, that actually really happened. It's weird. Especially going around with Fox, people be like, um, he was on, and you try to tell him, no, no, yeah. not yeah. that. You're like, anyway, bitch. Yeah. If you tell, <laughs> like, if you tell what you did, it's never that. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's got to do it for you. Yeah. <laughs> Fox O Radio, the Roll Out Show. Uh, take a quick break. Come right back, Mike. Can you? We'll wrap you up after this. Yeah. But yeah. Can you hang out? Yeah. Not like you got to go back to Iowa or mm -mm. anything like that. Uh, it's the Roll Out Show right here on the Fox O. We'll be right back. Yo, we are back. It is the top of the hour. If you're supposed to be there now, you are late. So you might as well stay and listen to us. It's Speedy and Friends, and I'll be. Uh -uh. <laughs> this yeah. bitch. In the building we got Mark Howard represent. In the building we got Michael Mosley In the building we got Tyron Turner In the building we got <laughs> Teeter <laughs> And on, on the turntable DJ always always in your ears uh, Definitely And if uh, you want to follow us on social media It's Speedy and Friends on Everything Speedy, the, uh, the letter N, friends, on everything. Don't put everything, but it's on everything. And if you want to chat with us on our website, it's speedyandfriends.net. Yes. We got t-shirts. heard it crash. All kind of shit on there. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> it's the letter N. Letter N. Speedyandfriends.net. And as it never milk a cow. Self-employed. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Mosey, have you got any advice from any established actors in Hollywood just running across at a restaurant or an airport or any any stories like that you got? Just for us? Uh, uh, to, to advice to actors? Is that what from? You have you gotten any from? Have you seen a legend who just pulled you to the side and gave you some good advice or yes. something? Yes, like? yes. James McDaniels. Wow. Said, told me, he said, you can't do anything. When they call action, you can't do anything wrong. I think a director and a writer would probably disagree with that. Gotcha. <laughs> but uh, as an actor, it's it's good to kind of hear that because you're just like, you just can't stress, you know, like, right. whatever. You, he was right. just like, you can't do anything wrong. Just mm -hmm. like, whatever. Like, you want to grab your phone, you want to take a sip of water, you want to, whatever. Yeah. You know, you just can't, like, just don't worry about yeah. it. You're exactly. not going right. to... They'll cut and they'll do another take, you mm -hmm. know. And so that was always so just a good roll thing. with it. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, just have fun and be cool and just relax, you I know. And not known that when I went to the audition yesterday, <laughs> you messed up. <laughs> no, I did good. Oh, about to say, I did good. Mark, what did you audition for? <laughs> Uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it was for a diabetes commercial, and it's so oh, weird. I'm, I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there You're going. Trying to say I auditioned for the same part. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like I'm going and see all these brothers walk in. I'm like, 
So they're going to pick the guy that looks like he really has diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Because yeah. it wasn't, really wasn't any lines. It's mostly you know, <laughs> camera shots here. I'm on a treadmill. I get a phone Impossible. call. <laughs> it's Go a ahead. pretend treadmill. Yes. Oh, it was a pretend trade, man? Yeah. And it had no belt on it? No. Sweetie, all you had to do to get the job was do like this. What? Mm. You got to say it. You can't, yeah, we went out on radio. TV. You said there wasn't no line. You said there wasn't no line. So no, I mean. You, you so if you tap your arm, that's like you, you're getting ready to get your needle to get your insulin. No, they were <laughs> stupid. So the show's about relieving stress yeah, and you get a phone call you know while you're trying to work out is. and stuff like that. <laughs> That is diabetes. So I, I needed that information. Right there. I, okay. I, I really did. So I, I was encouraged by him possibly messing up because I also read for the you know. <laughs> Yeah, you, you're right for So if he messed up, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got diabetes. Anyway, we can move on. As long as they pay me for it. Tell us what we got coming up next. And uh, he talked yeah. about the film. So you got the film coming up. Got the film coming up May 8th. And then uh, Sirens season finale next Tuesday right. at 10 wow. o'clock on USA. So please, everybody I watch. And we're on first. Netflix and stuff, too. And stuff. You can find it. So you can they replay Castle on that, TNT. Right? What's that? You guys get a check from that? There's I don't know. No, I haven't yet. You know, do, we get, do we get checks from on-demand stuff? Got to Netflix agent. stuff? Got nah. All right, I got to go. I got to talk to him. <laughs> 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 got to call Iowa. <laughs> Find out about my day. And how can people follow you if they want to? Uh, at on Mike Gene Mose on Twitter. Who's Mike Gene? Uh, Gene's my middle name. My dad's name is Gene. Mike. Oh. G-E-N-E M-I-K-E G-E-N-E M-O-S-E. So you can follow him. M O U S. He done change. He uses middle name. He got one of these Twitter things. <laughs> yeah. On his book of faith. All right, Mike Gene Mose, get under the get under the udder. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you want to direct? Sure. Oh, yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> like, you gonna hire me now? <laughs> direct you on this cow over here. When you pull on that earth, what's it called? Uh, uh, udder. Utter, yeah. That shit was. It would. It, I'm just gonna be real. It felt weird. <laughs> it's like, what did it feel like? <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> this is going nowhere right now. <laughs> Who's the beautiful young lady you brought with you? Uh, this is Carly. Hey, Carly. How's your publicist? Doing? Yes. Hey, Carly. Oh, she's not even working. <laughs> <laughs> she's on there on the, on the phone. <laughs> He's tweeting. He really doesn't want to direct. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Childs. Uh, table for nine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Please bring the bottles with the sparkly. <laughs> Shit is so fucking expensive. Of course. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Now, I, you didn't know? I chimed Shit. in. All right, I'll help out. Shit. Tab game. <laughs> I said, hey, Fox, tab game. <laughs> <laughs> he paid, we were in Miami, and the bill was... Twenty thousand snitch for what? Shit. He bought four bottles of uh, Ace Ace of Spades. So the girl was going to throw the bottles away. I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Collector's <laughs> item. I took the bottles in the case. You seen the case? Yeah, no. Uh -uh. Oh my god, the case looked like a small coffin. Right. But it's 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 this little. It's not little. It's you could like store shit in there, mm -hmm. like all your jewelry. It's it's a dope. It's one of the dopest cases I've ever seen in my life. Is that you right? took them to the pawn shop. No, I, I got them all. Right <laughs> so it looks like little coffins, baby. Yeah, maybe that's what it do to your liver. Mm. That was deep, Tyron. Yeah, that was. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why you didn't get the part. <laughs> uh, he has the wrong disease. <laughs> Got psoriasis. <laughs> That's in building four. They're auditioning for that one. Hysterical. Stupid <laughs> shit. Thanks for hanging out with us, man. This is awesome. Thanks for having us. Anytime you want to come through, doors are wide open. Yeah. Please. Well, that one is. Second door we locked. <laughs> you, know, you know the motherfuckers trying to get in. Soundproof, and you know. Shout out to your publicist. Thank you, lady, for hanging out. I know she's like, I'm ready to go. It's yeah. the bullshit here. <laughs> I'm going gave me to no Iowa. coffee. <laughs> <laughs> One black guy keeps staring at me. I don't know why. I'm going to hold my Gucci purse. <laughs> I always hate that shit when you walk past somebody and they grab your purse. I don't hate it. I snatch it. <laughs> Just so I can stay along with the... Right. So they can go, he really took it. Yeah, right. took the motherfucker, bitch. <laughs> or when I get on the elevator, I start breathing all hard. <sighs> and I push all the buttons, so they got to stay with me the whole ride. <laughs> so what's your name? <laughs> I'm Spady, bitch. You know what I do is we get in the elevator, like especially here, and then the lady comes, she's like, oh, oh, hi. I said, no, no, hi. I want to see if your karate class really works, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me use 
losing, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you take a quick break. Come right fun back. Time. DJ always going to give you a little spin on the wheels. Have some fun. I know you're looking like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mike, for hanging out with us, man. Yes, guys. yes. <laughs> Mike Most. Mike. We're going to go to Iowa and Mike. kick it with you at on Twitter. We just go to Iowa and yeah, yeah. We yeah, know Mike Tony's. Most. At Tony's. We're going to fucking we'll Tony's. Go to Tony's. <laughs> Get the pizza we'll with the pizza. pussy on it. <laughs> <laughs> Be right back. Foxhole Radio. Why is the photographer still on the microphone? Man, what he what just sat down. Oh, okay, my bad. Jeez. Somebody pushed his button. I didn't know what the fuck pushing. You might have to take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> then you can take a picture of it. Exactly. What me? <laughs> what me? Michael was funny, man. Yeah, that was fucking hilarious. Yeah, especially Iowa. off air. I was. Nice. I got to go to fucking <laughs> Iowa. So, some shit like, where's the worst place you ever been? To, like, out of your comfort zone. I don't have, I'm not out of Well, you know what I'm talking about. No, I don't know what you're talking about, boy. Go on. Oh yeah. You know, for me it was uh yeah, it was Korea. Yeah. Like, being, being in Seoul, Korea. Cause I ain't know you really I mean it's like it's one thing to be somewhere and you don't speak I don't speak nothing, bruh. So I'm there, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Right. I, if, if my handler wasn't with me, nigga, I'm done. Your handler, you a bear, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> they have a guy. Somebody that make me sit up. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody make me sit up. <laughs> like a trained animal. <laughs> Help me, but make me. <laughs> yeah. I can't sit up without my snacks. <laughs> anyway. Wow. <laughs> That's what I mean, T. That if you've been out of the country, or, so the whole thing of handling money over there was was weird. Was weird to you? Yeah, because uh, you know I'm trying to give it to them and no, they you don't, don't take do it. Right. And uh, they were trying shit. to negotiate, they trying to negotiate, and you don't speak the language, right? And, and it's just, and then you know they, you, you can have American money, but it really ain't gonna do you no good. So you gotta. <laughs> I think the funny shit. Yeah. I went to Korea with Courtney, Courtney G. Yeah, and the guy at one of the stores. Oh, yeah, I've been to that store. He pulled us in because he wanted to weigh us. Huh? He wanted to see how much we weighed. Oh, yeah, because we're huge. <laughs> I, I went in there and my man said, because he was, you know, tape measuring my, mm. my waist and then my thigh. He's like, he says, your thigh. <laughs> <laughs> I just want your creamy thighs. I woke tired up. <laughs> <laughs> he got to say something Niggas on that one. Sexual, I swear, yeah. Got a man. Hold on, bro. Go ahead. Speedy, got a man measuring your thighs and stuff. Because they have to measure you for the suit. That's bro. not what I asked you. You got what? excited about it. No, I did not. I said my man was <laughs> measuring me. That's an accusation. You let me finish. Okay. Let me put some cocoa butter on it before you measure it. <laughs> <All I, laughs> I just want your creamy thighs. For the measurements. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Anyway. <laughs> Fuck it now, y'all motherfuckers. No, go ahead. Pop 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 He's experiencing he's a lot of things. He's having, he's having a midlife crisis or something. So did you put your leg up on a little stool and he he, he put the tape measure around your thigh and then somebody <laughs> sideways. Rick, <laughs> rear. <laughs> you know, Clive Davis waited later on until he fell in love with men too. Mm, okay. Well, I don't know if you're going through something. I don't know. I'm you know, whatever it is, I got your back. Broke back mountain. Uh anyway. Uh, so you and your handler went to get your thighs measured, then what happened? <laughs> <laughs> trying to get the story. Yeah, we try we try to get the thigh story out. <laughs> Joe Thiesman. <laughs> 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 it just ruins his sto- little old story. Anyway, the Thiesman Award. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what happened, Speedy? <laughs> Nothing. Did they have enough tape to measure your waist? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need extra tape. <laughs> so are they? Are they <laughs> we never seen <laughs> person this big before. <laughs> oh, you have the Godzilla measurements. <laughs> 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 you look like you got diabetes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shit. No. Yeah. Stupid motherfuckers, man. That's what you do. So what happened with the thigh measurements? Anyway, I'm intrigued. Yeah, yeah. Can we move on? No. Yeah, you in a tree. I'm intrigued. Oh, I thought you said in yeah, a tree. Yeah, I'm trying to... I'm- <laughs> 
Uh-oh. Oh, hey. uh, you come over here, get a measurement from me. Hey. What are you, large, echo large? <laughs> <laughs> really, always. Oh. <laughs> So your thigh was high with the Korean guy. <laughs> I want to know, Speedy. To the maybe, sky. Maybe Speedy's having a transformation, man. Uh-huh. <laughs> Are you okay. a transgender? No, I'm just saying. He's trying to. It's like he's slowly just letting <laughs> us know some things we didn't know. Uh-huh. Milking cows. Like, it's just Getting his thighs measured. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to milk this cow. Go get my thighs measured. <laughs> To my bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know. Look, uh, what, uh, what's the uh, what, what, what kind of uh, uh, cow was it? D milk? I mean, <laughs> oh, like that shit, man. <laughs> that, that's the song. They break it down. I want to measure you. Now Vitamin. <laughs> <laughs> Vitamin D. Uh, anyway, so uh, what else going on? In the news? I don't know. So I anyway, th- those, uh, <laughs> I went to Korea. Okay. <laughs> I had a great time. Cool. Enjoy the food over there? No, I didn't. If it wasn't in the can, I didn't eat it. Oh, yeah. I didn't want to take a chance. Like, they had a McDonald's, but I didn't see no cows. Okay. So I was like, no. Oh, I can't they go with the cows again. I'm just saying. It was, <laughs> 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 I didn't see no cows. Wow, you didn't see no cows. So you was depressed. <laughs> Nigga said, I don't want no thigh meat food. He just wants some. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ain't got no cows around here. <laughs> I'm gonna go on a hunger strike. <laughs> Y'all ain't got no Milky Ways. <laughs> Leche. Uh, anyway, no hey. Mexico was weird for me. Mexico. How long were you there? Yeah, you know you do the whole go down there and see Tijuana and all that shit. You try to go a little deeper, and then a little Ooh, deeper, and then a little. Cause we was really trying to go see where Fernando Valenzuela lives. <laughs> we was trying to go see <laughs> like way over there, way over there. Hey, hell hell there of a, hell of a picture in a little God bitty, damn. little bitty town, uh-huh. little bitty town. But Called Southgate. Know, you, you get out there, but then you know the policia. You know, you be on the side of the road. They see the brother. They like, huh? Oh. Or they just stare at you like money. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like some you, easy money, right? You looking like straight cargo, homie. It's, it's, it's a whole different <laughs> oh, get down. You know, you, Did you just, see the houses along the water. They belong. Beautiful. Yes, yes. Very Motherfuckers beautiful. asleep. They have these houses along the water in Mexico. Mm-hmm. These million dollar homes yes. that that all these. They said that um, all these actors and actresses used to own them. They don't yeah, own them anymore. The yeah, and uh, on a Cabo or something like that. Uh, is is it Cabo? No, no, it's, it's going up the coast of uh, oh, okay. of Mexico yeah. on your way to, to up on your way to uh, uh, in, um, Ensenada? Ensenada, Ensenada, yeah, Ensenada. Mexico. What you was about to say? Enchiladas. <laughs> <laughs> you know when enchilada, uh, <laughs> Mexico, <laughs> Fox Hill Radio. It's the cheesiest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> we are launching, or they're launching a twenty, a new twenty four seven channel, Pet Bull, Globalization, and you. The listener have a chance to win a trip to New York City to see Pitbull live at the Harlem world famous Apollo Theater. Now, this is what's going to happen for you. The yeah, one grand prize winner will win two trip tickets to New York City, including airfare, hotel stay, two front row seat tickets, and a chance to meet Pitbull after, after the show. Now, for official rules and how to enter, go to SiriusXM.com slash Petbull before May 11th. So that way you can win the tickets and you fill out all the information there. Now, you must have had SiriusXM in your car, wherever you have it, before March 3rd, 2015, in order to be a part of it. You can't, no, uh, you don't have to purchase anything to be a part of this, but definitely you can win two tickets to New York City. Now, if you already live in New York City and you happen to win, you won't get the airfare, but you do get to stay at a nice hotel, two front row seat tickets, and get a chance to meet Pitbull backstage after the show. I think that's dope. Just make sure you go to SiriusXM.com slash Pitbull before May 11 to enter, and good luck. Can we laugh now? Go right in. <laughs> <laughs> it was three... <laughs> So the Boston Bombers found <laughs> I'm not even going to tackle that. <laughs> this nigga stupid. Uh, yeah, it just uh, popped up. Go ahead, uh, Mark Howard. Or yes, uh, Johar Chernayev has been gu- found uh, guilty 
for the 2013 bombing in the Boston Marathon. A federal jury found Tenariev guilty Wednesday, today that is basically, for the terror attack that killed three people and wounded uh, more than 260 uh, he kept his hand. He kept his hands folded in front of him as he looked down the defense table as the guilty verdict was raised. I mean, it's so weird when that happened. I usually it don't was raised. watch when the uh, verdict was raised. Yeah, I usually don't watch the marathons, and for some reason, I watch that yeah, one. Yeah, because it's working out. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no cows going down the street. Of course you ain't gonna watch. It. <laughs> the really Boston tired. Milk. Hey, I'm off of it. Really, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let you live. Nigga. I'm, I'm with you. I vote for any proposition they come up with. Whatever you with, whatever you're trying to do, I'm cool. The jury will now decide whether the 21 year old former college student should be sentenced to death or receive life. Oh, he's going to in prison. In Speedy, Boston? you said kangaroo court. So, <laughs> what does that mean? I mean, come on, man. You was not going to find him guilty? Oh, come on, man. Stop. That's what I said about the officers that beat Rodney King. Speedy, 21, you kill him? He, he done. You so, kill him. Like, yeah. death okay. What are you going to do? Put him in uh, on death row in Boston? Please. You might as well kill him. That's what's going to happen yeah. to him as soon as they see him. Yeah. As soon as he, make, as soon as he hit the yard, they do his weights. So yeah. street justice is no good, but the legal justice is good. All right. No, I don't think the legal justice. Wow, I like, I like that TDP. Just, I like yeah, that. That's a good killing. point. Street justice is what it is. What it is. What it is. Well, basically, he TDP saying when the they want to be street, they do it. Mm-hmm. But when we do street shit to defend ourselves as a they problem, they want you to vote and do all the other shit yeah, that deter you from yeah. getting yours. Yeah. And then the, also to in Boston, they should be having the verdict for um, Aaron Hernandez. Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Hernandez. The jury's at the. Uh, in so what do you think about that case? I don't think they have no evidence. I think all the shit they told us beforehand, oh, we got this, we got that. <laughs> this person's going to testify against him. We OJ got, made a statement. Yeah, yeah all, that. all that shit. Yeah. And it don't matter to me whether, I mean, if someone died, so that's that's a bad thing. Um, he can always blame it on football, say the hits and the concussions. He can always go that route. But I don't think they have enough to convict him. Not on what they have. Okay. Not on what they're charging him with. What but they think? was getting his girlfriend to try to roll over, right? She, she didn't. didn't. She she came on. They had her on TV, but yeah. I ain't had no shit black to say. Bitch, he, he shot him. Man, one I thing know about you a, was one thing about a black bitch, they won't roll over. No pun intended? No, nah, black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, I, I just don't think they have enough to... Now... Another reason why they give you all the different charges because they you know, want something to stick. Lesser they, count. You know, one of the lesser counts might stick. So you think but, you can play football? But again. the perception, no. The, the, no. The, the way that they put the perception out there, it seems like he's guilty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you're oh, not of really course. Yeah. You know, we went. They said they went to his house and yeah. he was unplugging his uh his uh, uh, uh video, camera, video cameras. Security equipment. And Which when he they did, did, he did do that. That's he, true. But how you know house. you weren't there? Right. It's his house. He can disconnect anything he wants. If they that said on TV, that's what happened. Hilarious. But that's what I mean. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But you, you convey it like it's real. You wasn't even there. And then they said they had the shoebox with the gun in it, and it wasn't no was gun, and there was weed in there. I mean, yeah. come on. Do you think he's innocent? I don't know. I, I wasn't, wasn't there. there. <laughs> 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 they, they, do have, they do have a text message with the victim te- texting out saying, hey, yo, this is who I'm with. Do you have a copy no, of no. that text message? No. <laughs> <laughs> Stop trying to act like facts. You have all the facts. I don't know what happened. I wasn't. You have all the fat. Okay. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) That was a good speech. The fat. You are the fat. Damn. You are the fat. The meat of the story. Maybe he's innocent. Stay with that. So you really think he won't play football again if he's found innocent of these? Because I don't think no one wants to take that PR hit of having him come and because you can imagine how many reporters would show up. You're right. Al Davis is dead, huh? Yeah. The Eagles will take him. Yeah, Cause you know Raiders are taking it They well, were taking it He only been out the game A year right Yeah a, Two he seasons has a, he didn't play Two seasons Unless he's doing a gang of push ups That's the only way he's staying Do they play football In, in, in uh, where no, he at they Paper always football Paper football They always talk about Somebody thumb. not having A killer you instinct play, 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 play football Who Yeah <laughs> <laughs> You play purple ball Play purple ball I don't have any purple fall on me Speedy now you got to live with everybody else. Nigga, that was the most fun Speedy, why we in always the use fucking the word, world. Why we always use the word Rainy day it? schedule? Why paper we football? Always... <laughs> yeah. well, hey, TDP. The paper. Mm-hmm. Why do then we you always kick use the, the term? <laughs> killer then you instinct. shoot it. <laughs> and use a ruler to see if you made a touchdown. He had definitely has a killer instinct. He never right. He's armed and dangerous. You know, they just, they just say that about you and they put that out there and then they just want you to... Follow go see suit. Kyle. Go see Kyle. Go see Kyle. Mm. 
Mm. Don't go see Cal. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Anyway. Fox Hill Radio. So there's not an utter's chance in the world that he will not play football. Today. I think he can play again. They got utters out here this big? I think if he's innocent, he Who's should be with the rats? <laughs> to play football again. No, I don't think he'll play. Shit. Not in the NFL. No. There's people who've killed people. Look, Beretta killed his football. wife. And he got all, like, I'm trying to tell you, Ber- Beretta killed his girl. Allegedly. We drove by that place. Allegedly, he killed the girl. Yeah, the, boy, the wide receiver boy that ran the man over and killed him. He got back into football. Who? Oh, he sure did. Star Wars. Yeah. Star Wars. I know. Yeah. Leonard, Leonard Little, same thing, too. I don't know. He's great at tight end, though. That motherfucker was nice. Uh, Brent, yeah. Brent, Brent for the Cowboys. Man, drunk and driving. what? He's University man. of Miami, Michael yeah. When, when he was at uh, uh, New England, you wasn't going to beat that. Because... Yeah. You got two tight ends. Fuck the, the wide receivers. Right. You got two tight ends who are matched up against fucking uh, 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 safeties. And safeties and well, not safeties. Linebacker. Really, against corners and corners is five nine. <coughs> they tyrant height. Tyrant well, they faster than the linebackers uh, and stronger than the corners. So yeah, like you said, there was a definite example. mismatch. Yeah. Wherever they, I'm a beast. Line them up at. You could. You think you could hold Hernandez? He's not a defensive I, player. He's they, an offensive player. No, he said he played corner. Play corner. Yeah, he played on he the play corner. now? Yeah. What if he played on Ladies and gentlemen, show your love for number 21 on the field. <laughs> and show your love for Crayon Sanders. <laughs> 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 no. Played on the corner, Slauson and Van Ness. <laughs> <laughs> See, oh, now you don't want to say shit. These niggas clown you. He going to clown. He going to clown. Small shirt wearing motherfucker. I play. No. You playing softball with us? Yeah. We got a game on the night. We need a lead off. Yeah, we got a game on the night. I told you go to the batting cage, nigga. So f- first of all, TDP, this nigga had the nerve to come in the house and tell me to go to the batting cage. Like I'm the fucking I can problem. Hit. My problem was I just don't. I don't, get around, the I don't get around the bases. I don't get around it because Fox said no. Speedy can hit. I get on base all the fucking time. Fox said Speedy hit home runs that turned into a base hit. That's me. That's just me. I'm be real. Teeter, same thing. Teeter hit home runs and they base hit. Speedy, I'm be honest with you. Your defense suck. Wow. Damn. That's where we Speedy, at how many games you lost for us? For Thank us? you, TDP. Ooh, just my the, the, the one game at first. The one game that, that day, and then go ahead. Nah, that's it. If he admitted to one, that means it's no, five. No, more. no, like TDP, I'm real. When when you hit the ball to Speedy, he gets scared. Let's no, be honest. No, no, I caught I'm the ball. Come on, 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 how about I hang up on all you niggas? How about that? Oh, he turned the mics off on us? <laughs> yeah, nigga, that's what I do. Worst, nigga. Power Dragon. is a hell of a drug, Tyler. <laughs> Punk. <laughs> Buster. <laughs> I mean, it was an incredible game. It was like it was like a two-one game, a whole yeah, game. That was one game. Pitchers, T, you lost games. When you didn't miss the gang of motherfuckers that short. Now Excuse we game? me. Okay. Come on, Teeter. Excuse you ain't, me. You ain't never missed a ball. Excuse me. You ain't never struck out. Excuse me. You ain't never struck out when okay. the game didn't matter. Did you see me miss a ball? Yes. Yeah. You see me miss a ball. Tyrant, stop. I'm giving oh my off. God. Bud Captain. <laughs> you miss me. You <laughs> see me miss a fly game ball. on the nineteenth. Are you playing? That's all I ask you. Yeah, Are you playing? playing. All right. Man, when I was playing Go to the short. bad case, bitch. When I was playing short and, and T. So Tyron was playing second, that. we was turning a uh, double Thank play. You. I'm not talking about... Please, Tyron didn't turn shit but his neck. What? Turn oh, shit but wow, his neck. Wow, Speedy. You got that kind of amnesia? Yeah, man. Turned his acting muscle. So to our way. listeners, you see what kind of team camaraderie we have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it gets competitive. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you t- if you took it all personal, I just said, yo, man. The white tell him to go to the bank case. No, I said, Y'all everybody. He sent a text to everybody. No, that's said, everybody. He, he's Tommy to Lasagna. Case. He thinks he's a manager. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I said, he, everybody, everybody go to the bank case is what at? I said uh, at Balboa Park. Okay. It's not the batting that it's the it's the defense. Yeah. I can hit the ball. Yeah, you can. Yeah. It's not about it's hit not even about hitting the ball, Speedy, because I know where to hit the ball. All right, okay. <sighs> I fucked up one time. These niggas won't let me knock down. It's all good. Don't fuck up. It time. wasn't. It wasn't one up. time. Like you, it wasn't so you act like you never fucked up. It's not about. I fucking just asked the question, bro. I'm only. I, you've never had an error. When you lose, I lose. So I can't say so that it's all like you. That? So you. Can you have? Have you ever had error? Have I ever had an error? Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Eighty-one. Soft ass. I mean, we all fuck up. That's like the beauty of the Steve game. Garvey. Mm-hmm. Steve, Steve Gravy. gravy. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you never see me mess up on defense, though. That's not fair. Tyron, stop. I go get the ball from. I could be in center field. I can go to left, right, and I go get the ball. I, that's what I do. Tyron's a beast. Marshall has cliques. Don't show up have in no sneak. Tyron, seen, listen no, to me. They only seventeen dollars. Go there and get you some cliques. They, they, they got a size five. five. They got five. You got to go in the women's section, but they got five. <laughs> <laughs> they got five cliques. I, 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 I will I, go in the women's section though. I know you wear no, something that you, don't do. you like the milk cows. <laughs> <laughs> Speedy, I go in the, I go in the women's section. You like the milk cows. 
Allegedly. Before the season started, people were yeah. yeah, I can do this, I can do that. Boy, well, you get like out there, get so the bottom of the out of the car. Down. Don't show up in no sneakers to the baseball game. I'm All telling right. you where to go get them at now. I'll buy them for you. You wear five, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm asking. You wear cows, right? <laughs> you wear five Let's agree to something together. Uh, we do it together. You, you, right? you wear five? You make cows? You, you wear five? Let's say yes to both. You ready? <laughs> oh, three. One, One two, two, three. I wear eight. <laughs> <laughs> but on the real, <laughs> that dude T turned it so fast, I ain't never seen nobody hit a corner around second, third to home in some K Swiss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, moving. Yeah, one K Swift and a Jordan. This nigga moving. But I'm saying because you always slide. I'm trying True. to help. Don't you just stay right. at Marshall. You're right. He's Seventeen dollars. You right. Or Ross. Either You're way. Right. I'm gonna get him. Nineteen. We. I'm there. Well, I got something hanging on my window. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Some baby cleats. <laughs> you got two spikes in them. <laughs> but we got to get a hot bat. A what? It's these bats that cost like two fifty. They corked. <laughs> they got two seventeen dollar cleats, two hundred fifty dollar bats. I don't know. You, so is Mark you, playing? You have a problem with it? I'm asking the question. Hold on, hold on. Let me turn this mic off. No. The way he can't hear me. Do you have any? Mark, do you play? Experience? Do you play? Very much. Oh, sorry about that. Do you play? Very, Very much. Yeah, I played with what, y'all before. What position? First base, outfield. Anywhere. Bitch. Wow. Bitch. Anywhere. Were you going to say anywhere? Yeah. How about you no. play back at home? <laughs> <laughs> Since you can play I mean, anywhere. <laughs> I don't specialize. Oh, yeah, I'm really a left field. No, you have to specialize when you play again. Well, put me in short center. That's where I usually flourish. Whatever, man. Outfield or first base. I'm left handed. So you good on the Wii base. board. Mm-hmm. On the what? Wii. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fox O Radio. Man. Ain't no L2 in real life. Tired. <laughs> 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 what size are you wearing? Eight. Cause I'm your type. Yeah. You got the wrong impression. But not for long. Milk and cows. How long? Woo! You won't be mine. You got the wrong impression. Go ahead, dog. Uh, cool guy P on this. Louder, bro. Louder, bro. Louder. On Twitter. Do it again. Sure. Cool guy, you on Instagram, C Pernell forty five on Twitter. Yeah, make sure you hit him up. You want some pictures taken? Mark Howard, no joke on Facebook. Comedian Mark Howard on Twitter. Impossible. And I make you laugh one on Instagram. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ty Turner. Hit Ty and Turner on Instagram, or you can hit me on Twitter. Size five. In the build. Go ahead. TDP, Mr. One Two Three, Nice Baby. Teeters on Twitter. Hit me up. DJ Always. That's always in your ear. Always is with the Z. Always in your ear on Twitter. Tyron, you said Ply's got a new song. What's it called? Uh, I'm gonna teach you how to slam. <laughs> slam the child on the hard concrete. <laughs> wow, what happened? We'll get into that tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow will be uh, Throwback Thursdays. We got uh, some. Hmm? We have a uh, Ben Glee. Tomorrow. Tomorrow show. Uh, is that a new leave? What is that? Oh. What's it? Shout out to our guests we had today. Shout out to Gallagher and his son. Wow. Bel- that was Bar- what's his name? Barnaby. 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 Uh, playing the, the guitar. Sit tar. And shout out to Michael Mosley. Michael Make sure you're checking him out on his show. It's a season finale coming Sirens. up. Sirens. On Sirens. Shout out to Ben Bereen. Just for the hell of it. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, shout out to all the cows I milked. <laughs> and my girl Carla and my girl Arlene at... Uh, Oh, yeah. Union B. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, baby girls, for listening. And uh, shout out to the uh, biker, what do you call it? Dyke Bikes. Dykes with Bikes. Dykes with Bikes. Dykes we'll with see bikes. you in a couple of mu- couple weeks. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Mine's is uh, Speedy is f- funny. Speedy IZ funny. I was to you say fag, but apparently. it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> You can't say uh. <laughs> On everything that Speedy is funny on everything, apparently. Go to Facebook. It's Comedian Speedy. What? Hey. With someone else. Shout out to that cow that's peeing up. still see <laughs> that you want to be with a nigga G-I- like Speed. Oh, man. <laughs> he is so gay. You think he's Mel Torme? Mel Torme. Mel Torme. I'm going to try that shit again because they was fucking with me. Hit watch oh, that. go ahead. The struggle song. You might be uh-huh. yeah, with that. some other cows. But I still see that you, you want to milk a little nigga like me. Okay. <laughs> Never leave. Yeah. I know how to fix that. Hold on. Oh, wait. One more time. I know you know. I'm going to be like I told you so. Okay, sweetie. You might be with someone else. Ooh. But I still see that you want to be with a nigga like me.
you wanna that be. That I like vitamin D. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Tyron, I just wanna let you know you got your pants on the inside out. I, I know I had a bad night. <laughs> you really wow. Wow. <laughs> Chris Crom thing. <laughs> jump, jump. I was like, why do I see his pockets? <laughs> nigga, no, he broke, nigga, if you can see a nigga pocket. <laughs> his pockets over here. Wow. Make sure you get a t-shirt. Tomorrow's gonna be a great show. It's throwback Thursdays. We'll be getting it in tomorrow. Teeter, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, Tyron Turner, thank you, brother. Yep. Mark Howard. Pleasure. What's the nigga's name? Oh, yeah. Cool, cool guy, P. Yeah. Much love. He's hey. got to do his manifesto sooner or later. Hey, hey, thanks for everybody that called in about the serious topic. Yeah, we appreciate that, Carolina. too. Much respect. Real conscious talk. Thanks for all the people that were on the yeah. internet. Mm, that so, shit wasn't so conscious. <laughs> no, they were sure. Uh, Man, come on. <laughs> All right, I'm doing like end. this. And don't forget, you can listen to the show. Oh, yes, if you need to catch a replay, uh, SiriusXM.com backslash on demand. And go buy a shirt. Go right to our uh, website, speedyandfriends.net, and you can get a shirt and see what we're doing. Back it up one more time. Watch this. Here we go. You get one shot Might to get this right. With someone else, I but I still tail. see that you want to be with a nigga like Speed. Oh, do <laughs> right here. No one else, cause I know you know I'm gonna be like I told you so. Jersey May, <laughs> Speedy, Jersey? Speedy Bryson, <laughs> Speedy Bryson, <laughs> but not for long. Now for low, though, the nigga. glucose. Give it up for catch a case. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say catch a case? Catch a case. <laughs> Foxhole Wednesday Midnight Mix with DJ Microphone Checker. Micah, Microphone Till tomorrow. All I want to say is this. anything's better than nothing at all. You might be. Come on. With someone else. But I still see that you want to be with a nigga like Speed. And from your right. Let's do this cream. No one else. Shit. Because I know you know I'm fucking with the rollout show. We are.